And good evening, boys and girls. How are we all? Welcome to Sunday Rum Day. I've got a brand new setup tonight, hopefully tech free. I just need you guys to do me a quick favor because it's a different microphone setup. Hopefully, the microphone is not distorting. If it is, uh, and I'm too loud, just let me know and I'll take that down a notch. But apart from that, we are ready to go. Coming up, cheers, Kevin. Uh, coming up into tonight's show, uh, it's all, I haven't got too much planned actually, but I'm going to do sort of a deep dive into Havana rums. Those five Havana rums, so the spiced, the special, the three-year-old, the seven-year-old, and it will always be known as the Cuban Barrel Proof. Always going to be known as that. So uh, while I sip them, I've got coconut rum, coconut rum and ice. Let's have a say hello. Uh, I've got the comments right beside the camera now. I don't have to duck and dive. I can see everything is genius. So Andy Barham was before I went live. So hello, Andy. Uh, Bingo Ringo, Kevin, Ian. There is someone here. Uh, Rebub, Susan. Uh, Susan, hello, Rebub Cod. Right, Bunnix. Bunnix AG, Bunnix AG, I'm sure that's how you say it. You need to come and join us in the Discord community. Uh, when you come in, uh, Scott and the gang, they'll they'll look after you, but I need to add you to our membership uh, thing. So come into Discord, Bunnix, uh, and you can be part of the membership gang. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, new member yesterday or Friday, one or two. Uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. But definitely come and join us in Discord. Uh, it's that one there. I'll put that on screen. So there you go. So come, come and join us. There we go. Right. Uh, let's go back to the chat. Let's carry on saying hello to people. Gregory Wall. Are your names? I can see the comments really big, but the names are quite small, even though I'm zoomed in on this. I've got a 4K monitor behind me, so it's all good. Uh, Claire, Ka uh, Karen Mason, how are you? Darren and Tina. Uh, uh, Waffle Amp. Waffle Mop. Uh, I'm about to have a slash of some 12-year-old. Appleton 12-year-old. Nice, 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 Rhubarb. Already worked out, so might sip a little. Pusses, nice, Susan, nice. Uh, I'm on the list. Oh, that list, yes. Uh, Bunnix, that list. Right, let's get rid of the old uh, doodah. Let's put, I've got to find the way around these things now. Let's put this on. So this is what's coming up in tonight. Let me get rid of the old, uh, how do I do that? Where's that gone? I want to get rid of that. Oh, I've got to find the comment now to get rid No, I am There it is. I know where it is. See, it's all going downhill, isn't it? It's all going downhill. Straight away. There we go. Right, there. Let's come back. Let's come back. Uh, Gregory, I love Havana Rums and Yeho is special. It's the best I have tried so far. The seven year old is good. Oh, you wait till the Cuban barrel proof. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, Neil, hello, Neil. Gus, Rossi B, Decky Doughty. Uh, I'm on Discord. I will send you a... Oh, who are you on Discord? Who are you on Discord? I've got Discord open on here. I've got the comments open on there as well. I'm telling you what, I'm all teched up tonight. Uh, Bunnix, you're going to be some someone we always chat to on Discord, aren't you? <laughs> uh, Dog, why has why is the rum gone? It's not gone. Uh, Cameron Lockyer, never discovered your channel. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Never discovered your channel a week ago and have been binge watching since. Oh, Indiana. Welcome, Cameron. Welcome to the gang. Uh, Decky's just sipped some rum, JM. Uh, uh, Philip, hello, Philip. Uh, and always the UK moan too hot or cold. It is, it is very hot here, but I'm nice and cool, actually. I've got a fan on. Uh, Georgie was giving me banter. Georgie Fenson was giving me banter that she was really hot. Um, but yeah, I'm nice and cold. I'm, not, I'm, I'm all right in here. Uh, not tried the barrel proof. Interested if it's worth it. Oh, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. Right. So get, scrolling through the screen, you can see what's coming up tonight. Uh, who's just joined Discord as well? Mark. Hello, Mark, whoever you are. Bunnix is here. I can see Bunnix, right? Bunnix, I can see you. Uh, I don't know when you joined, uh, but I will I will add you to the membership Um Back bit the this membership area of the Discord when I finished. I can't do it now, but I'll add you to when you finished and all that. So, and the whole thing of the membership. Hang on, let's just put this on screen so we can see this. I told you, I'm all I'm all geared up for it tonight. Look, uh, right, the membership thing. You can sort of see that scrolling through down the bottom. We are going to be having some uh, taste alongs coming up very soon. Next week, I am. These are empty. We are going to be doing a whole load of taste alongs from Lazy Dog Distilled in Leicestershire, just sort of up the road from me-ish, 
about an hour or so away. Uh, so we've got some laser dog, we've got the silver rum, and we're going to be tasting our spiced rum as well. My membership community have got those who wanted to get involved have all got little tasters winging its way to them at the moment, but that is next Sunday. So we're going to have loads and loads of fun with that uh, next week. And then we've got, well, you can see it's all, hang on, that's the wrong thing, isn't it? That's the wrong thing. Sorry. Hang on. Uh, which one is it? That one, isn't it? Is it that one? Oh, I've got, I've got to hide that to show that. Right, that's better. Come on. He says, I'm having a tech, a tech failure. Come on, show. Oh, it's not working. Anyway, we'll get that up on screen in a bit. I don't know why that's not working. What's going on here? Flipping technology. Right, I'll tell you what we do. Let's uh, let's crack on with the Havana Cuban Spice. There we go. So that's going to be the first one we're diving into tonight. I haven't got too much left of this. Uh, that's really annoying me now. I'm going to come back and I'm going to press the magic button. Show. It don't want to know. It don't want to know. Edit. Save. Show. It won't go on screen. Really annoying. I don't know why it won't go on screen. Anyway, I had a whole nice little scroll thing for you to tell you all about what was coming up in the whole Discord, uh, in the whole membership taste along Sunday nights uh, coming up. But it doesn't want to play ball. So we've had one tech issue straight away. <laughs> right, let's go back to the chit chat. Let's go back in there. So this is the Havana uh, Cuban Spiced. We're going to start there. Uh, and then I'm not sure which way around to do it. The three rolled or the special. I'm going to go with the special, I think, but we shall play it by ear. So this is the Havana Cuban Spiced. I think I might have just called this Cuban barrel proof. I'm not sure. Uh, Cuban spiced. This is, I can. I never remember this. I know it's guava and coconut, toasted coconut, uh, vanilla, pineapple. That's the one. I always forget this pineapple in there for some reason. We've done that, done a little, most of the bottle in here. This is actually quite tasty, to be fair. Uh, it's only a 35% ABV, uh, and they do call it a spirit drink somewhere in the bottle. Yeah, right down at the bottom. Look. You can see it's, oh, you won't see. Can you see that? Maybe. Can you see that? It's right there by my finger. It says spirit drink. So they don't call it a rum, uh, which is kind of cool. You know, you expect Perno Ricard to play by the rules a little bit. Uh, so let's have a little taste. Now, my little guilty confession is when I go down to work in Brighton, uh, one of the bars that I go, well, bar, restaurant, sort of shelter hall, essentially, right on the beach, uh, has that with, and I have it with ginger ale. That is my guilty pleasure. That's exactly how I love drinking this. But it's um, it's kind of nice and light and summery, and you know, you kind of when when you're sort of like three o'clock in the afternoon and you just want a little tipple, this is just nice to go to. Uh, price wise, what have we got for the price? Twenty one forty four from Master of Bowls. So not not a bad price, about the same as Dead Man's Fingers and and all the other spice drums. All right, not as cheap as I don't know, not as cheap as your Bacardis and stuff like that. But you know, you'd expect you'd expect it to be a little bit better. Um, on the nose, it is, I don't know why I forget it's pineapple. It's juicy pineapple, bit of coconut, sort of little bit of vanilla, but it's, it's really, really juicy pineapple that comes through in there. It does, it does smell quite nice. It does, it really does. Bonjour. Bonjour, Stefan. Bonjour. That is, that is really, really nice smell there. Taste-wise. You know... It is, to be fair to it, for a 35%, it is actually quite, I was going to say quite feisty. It's definitely not a stick of straw in it and drink it. You know, you do get a punch of alcohol from that, even though it's 35%. Um, yeah, it's only 5% less than like a 40. You know, you can't you can't moan it too much. But, yeah, it's, I'd, say, I'd say tasting it, the vanilla and the pineapple are the two that come sort of through first. The coconut. This is, right, to compare this to, I'm going to be doing a lot of this tonight because I haven't really got too much planned, so I'm just going with the flow. To compare it to Cane Rock. Cane Rock, for example, with Plantation, you don't really get the coconut on the nose, but as soon as you mix it, the coconut in this really does come out to play, which I think is the opposite to this. I think the coconut is there on the nose, but doesn't really come out in the drink too much. But it is, it is really, really tasty. And you know what? I might have to have a little, um, a little one. I've got a little one here. I love these little tasting glasses as well. I've got my, got my new little tasting glasses. 
David from Black Parrot put me onto these when I was with, Char with Charlie and Big G. Yeah, just, just little cool tasting glasses. There we go. So Cuban spiced, I nearly said Cuban barrel proof again there. Cuban spiced and ginger ale. This is just gorgeous. You could add a wedge of lime in here. I would potentially go like a wedge of orange or something like that in there, to be honest. I wouldn't do the lime. But that is so easy drinking. Honestly, mid-afternoon, instead of like a, especially in this weather, instead of like a beer or, or something like that, a glass of wine, that you know, that is kind of like the new gin and tonic, if you like. It's just really easy going, really nice, fruity, easy going. There's kind of a lot of you on now. If you're, if you're new here as well, I want this flipping thing to work. I'm going to give it another go. Show. I bet this one will work, won't it? Yeah, see, that comes straight on. Flipping thing. Right, height. Why don't this one go? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right, hang on. Let me edit edit this. Let me... No, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Sorry, I don't know why that one's not working. It's probably, it's probably on your screen. It's just not on my screen. Right, let's go through. Let's catch up on something. This is going to be very interactive tonight. Very interactive because I've not got long spiels to go through. So let's, let's get involved. Let's have some chats with you lot. Right, Gus. Uh, not tried the barrel proof. Do so interesting. Right, that's where I got to. Uh, ticked up better than last week, and yes, Neil definitely ticked up better than last week. <laughs> I've even just in case I've even got this is Scott's idea, but I've even got a hot water bottle and uh, those little freezer blocks in the freezer just to kind of stick underneath. And that I'm not worried about the laptop overheating because I've got my I've got my sort of workhorse laptop from upstairs. Uh, it's the phone, it's the it's the camera that I'm worried about overheating. <laughs> but we should be all right on that. We should be right. Uh, haven't tried any. Karen, why have you not tried any of the Havana rums? I'm really interested. Karen, I think this would be not just ch chatting to you um, in the, in the uh, where were we? In the members bit or did you DM me? I forget where it was now. But, you know, we're talking about Moon Cursor and stuff like this. My Moon Cursor. Oh, you know, um, I know that's on your list. You've definitely got to try that. Uh, my light. Hang on. I might need to adjust these lights. There we go. Can we see or get closer? Get my belly over the bar. Can we see that? That's definitely worth a look at, uh, the Moon Cursor from Cornwall. But, all right, so you have to get that online. Um, but, you know, this this is really easy to get. I think most supermarkets get this. It's really worth a look, to be fair. Especially ginger ale. I'm not a huge fan of it with um, Coke, as you'll have seen from last Wednesday's Thursdays, whenever it was, last week's video. Uh, I'm not sure. But they, they have got it. I think they've canned it up. I think it is coming out in cans, like of, of that, the spiced in Coke. I'm not a huge fan of it with Coke, I must admit. Uh, I think it's because of the, the pineapple, because of the sort of the, the those tropical fruits in it. I just don't think it works with Coke. Me personally, it's definitely a ginger. Ginger ale, definitely 100% on that. Right, uh, Decky, uh, they're on the woody side, not much fruit. Uh, that might change, actually, coming up to the uh, Cuban Barrel Proof later. Uh, £16 is Ross, my deals on wheels. So that, £16, Ross. So there we go. Uh, £16. I'm assuming he's talking about that, Cuban Barrel Proof. Sainsbury's, that's a bargain. Uh, Ross is my resident. We're, they've all got little roles in my membership community. Ross is the one that finds the deals out every day or whenever he's about, like two, at least, at least sort of two or three times a week. But sometimes it's in there every day. He's always finding the deals. Uh, Cameron is on my. Cameron is on, is on your wish list. <laughs> Easy, if I just bet him. Uh, <laughs> can't get the spice version in my area, so Canada. Uh, but we can get the three, seven, and and Yeho reserve and the smoky. You haven't got the smoky. We don't get the smoky in the UK, to be fair. Um, all five. What about smoky? Sorry, right. I've just answered that, Stefan. We don't get the smoky. The smoky is not a UK. We had it um, 2018, and it was. I forget what the actual titles were now. Mental block. Uh, bartender. Ex it wasn't called this, but bartender exclusives number one and number two. It was the number two um, that we kind of had for a short. It wasn't called bartender exclusive. It had another range, but it was a it was a bartender range essentially, uh, and it was aged. I'm not even sure it's the same thing, but it was aged in uh, Lafroy barrels, I think, uh, back in the day. 
Uh, but yes, it's not a UK product, the Havana Smoky. Right, not on my screen. All right, let's hide that. Uh, Nick made a mistake of having one with Coke last night. Terrible. I'll have to nip outside and pour one with ginger. Ah, oh, yeah. See, I, I don't think, I don't really don't think this is a Coke. And why they've canned it as a rum and Coke, I just do not know. I really don't. It is 100%. It's a lovely with ginger ale. It's absolutely amazing. I could guzzle that all day long. Nice and long. One part rum, three parts ginger ale, maybe even four parts for a longer drink. It's delicious. Really, really delicious. And I've actually got enough there. Hang on a minute. I've got plenty of ice cubes. I said I was going to be going with the flow and making some drinks tonight. Let's just do, let's just do a little, little daiquiri. Little, little daiquiri. Uh, how little should we do? Right, let's do two. Five, two, one dax. Right, let's leave, let's leave my lid off my sugar so I don't have to do that every time. Uh, five, two, one, uh, daiquiris. Hopefully, hopefully we should have enough here. The only problem with making daiquiris this small, little taste of daiquiri. Oh, it's going to finish the bottle. Oh, There's a little bit left in there. The only problem with making daiquiris this small is that you kind of, because of the ice, you kind of get a slush puppy effect when you shake it. So five parts, for you newbies, five parts rum. So essentially 25 ml of rum. Uh, 10 mil of lime, and uh, I've done literally like five mil of sugar. So five, two, one, I've kind of done for that. There we go. Right, let's just uh, waste not, want not. Right. Uh, a little daiquiri. I know this is a cracking little daiquiri. Nice little summer fruity daiquiri. Little, look at that. These tasting glasses are amazing. My coconut rum's all watered down as well now, look. Um, right, let's have, hang on, let's, uh, let's let you know what the daiquiri's like. Oh, it's good. It's just, uh, it's an afternoon. It's a barbecue afternoon daiquiri. Not, a, not an evening sort of enjoy, sort of, uh, what you call it, an evening out. It's, it's like definitely an afternoon chilled out summer party daiquiri, this one. Oh, that's so good. Actually, the coconut comes out in that now. The pineapple sort of, the pineapple's there, but the coconut really comes out in that now. That's interesting. That's like the cane rock. The cane rock that brings, when you do a daiquiri, as you'll see next week, uh, Tuesday, the, um, the cane rock really, the daiquiri really brings the sort of the coconut out in that. That's really interesting. Right, where did that question go? Um... Mr. Bungle, there it is. I can see that. I'll come back to that in a second. I've just seen a few more comments up here. It's really nice having the comments back there in front of me, right beside. So I don't have to go looking over there and take my eyes away from the camera too much. Right. Uh, Wellington Cirilla, is that? Let's put you on screen. I'm sure it's Wellington. Wellington Cirilla. What you guys prefer, Bacardi 8 or Havana 7 for cocktails? Right, you guys can get involved in answering that question. Uh, yeah, we've got the smoky cube in our local liquor stores, right? Stefan, same thing. He aged in Eilid whiskey barrels for six months. Yeah. Uh, well, it's well, pineapple for a savory. Nice. Yeah, it should be. I forget what it's called now, but it should be that smoky Havana should be exactly the same as what we had in 2018. I can't for the life of me remember what number one was. We had number one and number two. I just cannot remember what number one was. Uh, but I remember preferring number one to number two. <laughs> I just can't remember what it was. Uh, I don't do smoky whiskey. I don't, I really don't do Ilo whiskey and all that sort of stuff. Not, not my thing. Right. Uh, Mr. Bungle, what was his question? Steve, have you tried the new Kraken coffee rum yet? No, I haven't. Hit the rum, hit the shelf at 24 quid, Sainsbury's. I found it way too sweet. Well, in that case, I'm avoiding it. <laughs> I will take your word for that, Mr. Bungle. Um, yeah, if, if you think it's way too sweet, I've uh, there's no point in me drinking that. Absolutely no chance. But um, if, I, if I had a sample, if I saw it out somewhere, like I could just buy a shot of it to try it, I might do that. But no, I probably wouldn't get the bottle. To be fair, I've got um, I've still got two bottles of Kraken down there. They're, you get them for videos. So I don't really use them for anything else. Right. Uh, Bingo Ringo with FIFA Tree. Yes, 100%. I've got it, but I've just got... <laughs> 
that's my last bottle. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't want to crack it because I knew I wouldn't drink it all tonight. But yes, the spice, the, the, you want the full fat one, bingo. Bingo, bingo. The full fat spiced orange ginger ale, not the semi skim stuff, the full fat one. Uh, well, so if I, I don't think I've got another one. No, I've not. I don't think I have. No, I've just got. I've just, I've just got uh, ginger ale, premium ginger ale in there. That's one bottle of spiced orange. That's all I've got. Right, uh, Picardi eight for me, Philip. Not much love for the Havana seven. It's a bit on the dry side. Definitely not for cocktails. Here he is, look, Scott. Right, Scott. Uh, you need to. I'm not sure whether they're still here. But uh, hang on, let me scroll all the way back up here. Scott, you need to say hello to Bunnix AG. They're in the Discord. They are a new member. Um, and uh, I, I just need to put them into the membership area of the Discord. But they're, they're in there. I don't know what your name is, Bunnix. <laughs> I really don't. But Bunnix, you can say hello to Scott. Scott Scott's like my teacher's pet. Scott is uh, welcomes everyone to Discord. <laughs> right. Gus, Havana 7 over Picardi 8 for me, uh, but always have a, have, what, but Havana 7 always gives me a hangover. That's really interesting. Uh, C, hello C, hello Chris, how are you? Chris, Chris, should we call him C Dog? Chris, why, why, C, why don't, why, 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 Chris, why, why is it just C? Not Chris, hey, 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 hey. Is, is the Havana, yes, the professional edition, that's the one, Tom, that is the one. I knew it was something like that. <laughs> and if you're looking at it, if you can remind me to what the number one was, I'll be eternally grateful. <laughs> right. Uh, Wellington's in Brazil. Wow. Oh, Wellington, we need to get involved in cachaça chats then, don't we? In Brazil, it's hard to find a lot of rum brands. Picardi, Havana, Captain Morgan's most easy to buy. Wellington, what's your, I'm assuming that, what's your go-to cachaça brand then if you are in Brazil? Uh, and Decky and a ad, what's this? And AD, I think, Tom. And AD, I don't know what that means. That's completely lost on me. Oh, Stefan's got something here. Uh, crack and coffee, then Kahlua all day, every day, but less sweet coffee because are oh, better. Okay. Oh, is crack, is crack and coffee a Canadian thing as well? Over the pond? That's nice. Right. So, yes, let's crack on with my daiquiri. So, uh, yeah, my all-star, a little bit sad. I might have to go to Sainsbury's uh, tomorrow or the next day, whatever. I could do a Kuiper in you. Kai, 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 not Kai, Kai, what am I talking about? Uh, Kai, Parisimo. Jesus. Mental blocks. Mental blocks. Kai, Parisimo. Do it with rum. Let's upset. Let's upset Wellington. I'm sorry, Wellington. I'm sorry. We know Kai, Parisimo go with uh, Cachaca. Of course they do. That is gorgeous. I love that. Fun, fruity, pineapple, coconut. Uh, Bingo Ringo, have you got your uh, spiced orange ginger ale out yet with it? Let me know what you think to that. Uh, professional editions A to D. Was there a C? Oh, sorry. Was there a C in the D as well? I don't remember those. I remember, I remember, I'm oh, sorry. I thought there were one or two. I remember A and B then, I'm assuming. If, if B is the smoky one, then I definitely remember A and B. Um, I, sorry, I thought they were one and two. But I have no idea what C and D were. That, then That's new to me, that one. Right. Uh, see, I love all these comments. I love interactive shows where I don't have too much planned. It's brilliant fun. Right. Uh, I bought a Havana and just put this one up on screen. I bought Havana and Yeho special a few days ago and with Coke on ice. It was a permanent refill. Yeah, it's pretty. To be fair, the Especial is the better one with Coke. 100%. Possibly an E, too lazy to Google. Bingo Ringle, I've been on... Ooh, interesting. Uh, Ray Nephew, overproof in my Kuiperinias. Interesting, Bingo Ringo. Ingo. Right, uh, professional A to D, full... Right, hang on, here we go. Professional A to D, full and intense white. Is that what... A was. A wasn't a white, was it? A wasn't. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, my, it's testing my brain cells now. Uh, Stefan, like, smash the like. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do for two minutes. There we go. Let's put that on screen. Smash that. 
smash that like button. The like button, by the way, we, we do love it if you subscribe to the channel. We us, us creators do love it if you subscribe. Of course you do. But YouTube doesn't really work like that now. YouTube works on viewing signals. So the more you interact with like your favorite, does I'm not just talking me, but the more you interact with your favorite creator, your favorite videos and all that, the better that you do. And I know a lot of you watch on your big screen TVs and you can't comment on TV and all that sort of stuff. I completely get that because I see the stats. I know a lot of you on Sundays do watch from TVs. But that is the better way now to sort of help uh, channels grow. It's by liking, it's by sort of engaging in the comments and all that sort of stuff. It's viewing signals as opposed to subscribing. And that. No, no one really cares about subscri subscriber numbers anymore. Right, let's go. Let's take the old likey, likey thing off there. Boom. Chat. Let's go back to the chit chat. We like that. C is rich and raw gold. See, I definitely don't remember that. C is rich and raw gold. I a hundred percent do not remember that. And D is a fresh aromatic white. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's news to me as well. All on the whiskey exchange. Oh well, there we go. All on the whiskey exchange. Whiskey exchange should probably brought the whole lot out. They'll probably still have stock for another five years. That's the great, look, to be fair, right, that is the great thing with Whiskey Exchange. They buy a lot of stock. Um, so they are probably the last ones to run out of anything because they buy and keep a lot of it. I tell this story all the time. Basically, I was part of the uh, UK launch of um, Jim Beam Maple in 20, late 2014, early 2015. So we went around doing quite a few sort of launch uh, events and all that sort of stuff. It was pretty much delisted within six months. It just didn't go down at all. So that's the Jim Beam Maple. Uh, limited edition on the bottles. Uh, at Whiskey Exchange still had some that you could buy during COVID and it still had that limited edition. They did one run. They shipped one run over to the UK and that was it. 2015, early 2015 was the last run of Jim Beam Maple. You can still get it five years later at uh, the Whiskey Exchange. So they do that quite well. They do overstock. But the downside to that is like I found out, for instance, I used to have um, some pouring deals with Maxim essentially that had um, Brugal rum. Brugal with Jim Beam. Maxim with Jim Beam and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, hence that. So I used to pour Brugal. It took two years uh, for the whiskey exchange to get through the old label of Brugal until I could get the new labels. <laughs> you know, two years, two years. Brugal's not exactly like, um, it's not a huge product, but, you know, they are going to have some turnover for that. So, yeah, that, 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 it's good and bad things about whiskey, about whiskey exchange in that way. But, you know, we love them. They're hosting the rum show this Friday and Saturday down in London. So we're going along to that. I'll be there. If any of you are going to the rum show on Friday, drop me a comment. Uh, below let me know let me know whether you're going uh, and i'd love to uh, meet and say hello to you i'll be there for the trade part from 12 o'clock uh, and also the evening session as well so i'll be there i'll be at the rum show all day friday down in london london town just uh, forget where it is now uh south south of the river but liverpool street side south of the river right uh, Red Beard, Red Beard's Rum Reviews. There's another rum channel. You go and check him out. I haven't seen any of your stuff recently. Have you been uploading videos? Where have you been? I haven't seen you for ages. Uh, perhaps YouTube's just not shown it to me. <laughs> Be smoky and rich. Uh, Top Cheese. Hello, Top Cheese. I know your real name now, Top Cheese. Uh, da, da, da. Watching my big tea and chat on my phone. Right, Wellington and his Caipirinhas and Cachaças. In Brazil, we have a lot of good Cachaça premium brands and rewards, but Brazilian people don't like to spend money in this. For a whiskey and vodka? Really? That's interesting. Wow. So what's your go-to Cachaça brand in Wellington? Uh, yes, Stefan, exactly that. Look, I won't lie. I would love my little silver plaque, my little play button with like 10,000, uh, 100,000 subscribers. I, I, you know, I'd, lo I'd love that, but that's not my goal at all. I don't care. My channel will probably not grow to 100,000 subs because it's set up very differently and set up in a different time to like your Greg's, your uh, Educated Barflies, your SDB 2.0 uh, in Australia, Steve the bar Bartender in Australia, you know. But, you know, they were set up years ago, 
the early adopters, the sort of cocktails and that, and then just through Common Man is another one. Derek Show me, you know, is another one. The channel's just exploded. We're all pretty much on the same playing field now. It's just kind of how you position your your content. Some channels will blow up, others others won't. But you know, as as I say, the stats you can't see behind the thing. My the views I get per day is on par with a hundred hundred twenty thousand subscriber channels. So that's the views per day. Um, but I just don't because my my content has been so varied over the last sort of five years or so. Um, I kind of have massive niches like the porn star martini video I've got just brings in loads and loads of subscribers every single week. But of course, they're not interested in rum, so they'll subscribe for the porn star martini and never come back because I'm never going to do a video uh, that they actually subscribe for in the first place. So that's why subscribers don't matter, really. Right. Hide messages from there. Uh, Jim Bean Maple. <laughs> Thank you. What was your opinion? Uh, I, I I wasn't a huge whiskey fan, to be honest. Um, I kind of like rum with maple now. Um, I, I do that, but I'm, I'm not a huge whiskey fan, if I'm honest. And that's probably what we'll come on to in the Havana sort of seven-year-old in a bit. Well, I better move on, otherwise I'm just going to be stuck on the Havana three-year-old all night, you know. Right. So that's the Cuban spiced. Let's, I'll catch up with these comments in a second. Uh, I just need to put this on screen just for the old chapters. I am going to do this one next. I'm not sure if I should technically be doing this one next. And I'll explain why in a second. But this is the one, hide, that I think there. Now, the reason I think it should go next is purely price. It used to be, for years, more expensive than the three-year-old. Um, but now it's reversed. The three-year-old is more expensive. The three-year-old's got an age statement to it. This hasn't. You know, it's just... Now, we do loosely class this as a five-year-old rum, but because they don't disclose the rums that are in there, I'm naturally assuming that there is like a one, maybe a two-year-old rum in there as well. Hence, it can't be called a five-year-old rum. So for me personally, I put this before as the, the, the lower, the entry-level rum for Havana. That's where I kind of sit this. So I put the three-year-old old further up because it has got an age statement and I think it's older. But I do think, kind of know as well, loosely going back in the day, that this has actually got older rums in it than what the three-year-old has. So swings and roundabouts on that. Right. The, I don't think I've had this neat for flipping ages, actually. So this is the Especial. Price-wise on this... Uh, where are we? Price wise on this, nineteen pounds. So this is this is the thing I don't really understand. All right, Ross has probably kind of come up with a few deals now, but uh, twenty one forty four, right? Nineteen pounds. Normal price is master and hole. I don't I don't get that. I don't get that correlation. To me, that should be. Yeah, it should it should be. Less than that should be. I, I, I don't I don't get prices. But anyway, uh, the especial. What have we got in the old nostrils? And I'll come back to the comments. Woo. Come back to the comments in a minute. Woohoo! Vanilla. Lots of. I don't think I've smelled. I don't think I've tasted this neat for a long, long while. Uh, vanilla, caramel. Standard. <laughs> Pretty much standard, to be honest. It's like a fruity sort of tropical vibe to it as well. Can't really pick that, and it's definitely it's definitely those tropical fruits, not um, not raisin sultanas dried fruit. It's not that sort of dried fruit. It's tropical fruit on there. There's a little bit of hint of spice, a little bit of wood on there, but not not too much. It's not it's not complex at all. It's just you know an entry level rum. To be fair, right. Really pleasant, sit neat. It is, there's no, um, there's no bite. Um, there's no, when we get onto the seven year old, you'll see what I mean, but there's no kind of woody tannins. Uh, it's sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They kind of make you, ooh, no, the, the, it hasn't got the alcohol kick. It's a, it is a 40%er. Um, yeah, it's a 40%er. It just hasn't got that sort of, aged rum alcohol kick coming through to it. It's just easy going and pleasant. A really decent entry level sipping rum. 
And this is the rum. This is where this is where a lot of people get confused. This is the rum that Pernod Ricard, who own Havana, or let's just say Havana. This is the rum that Havana Club actually market as their rum and coke. They don't get out fly. Oh, that's a wasp. Get out, wasp. Get out my daiquiris, wasps. Bzzz. It's on the light now. Um, yeah, they don't market that as their rum and coke, like Bacardi. So that, that's Bacardi's rum and coke. Uh, that's that's Havana's daiquiri. That's Havana's rum and coke rum. Um, so yeah, just kind of that. That is essentially their mix of rum, rum and coke, rum and ginger. That is what it's designed for. That's why you know. That's why it's kind of there. Right. Uh, just while that's uh, coming back through there, let's dial back up through. I've got a pinned message. Why did I pin a message? Oh, I pinned that one. Get off. Right. Let's come back through to the comments. Where do we get to? Jim Beam Maple. That's where we got to. Uh, da, da, da. Right. Darren and Tina Sale. I'm keen on ginger as a mixer. Normally have ting. Wow. With a dash of falernum. That's a great shout. That's a really great shout, that is. Uh, proper falernum. This falernum. Darren and Tina. Or like a morning falernum syrup. Um, either or. I mean, this is just alcoholic. Uh, a little bit thinner. And not as sweet as the morning. But I do quite like the morning one, to be fair. As a syrup, I kind of it's uh, it's a decent kind of flavour to it. I like that. Um, good luck with the train this time. Is that for me? Yeah, apparently there's no strikes this time. Hopefully, oh, there wasn't a strike last time I went to London. To be fair, but do I think the whiskey exchange will have the old King's Ginger? Now that's probably <laughs> potentially. Uh, I, I doubt it to be honest because that would have been a big product to buy out straight away. As soon as people knew that that was going to change, I expected all shelves to be cleared of that, um, which is a shame. Um, but this is this is the really bizarre thing. I've not seen anything of King's Ginger now since they rebranded that. And I used to see the old King's Ginger about a lot. Bartenders would talk about it. It'd be in the trade press. It'd be advertised. Especially this time of year, King's Ginger and Tonic, King's Ginger and Lemonade, long summer serves. I have seen absolutely nothing of King's Ginger. They're not even in the bar magazines. No one is talking about it anymore. And it's just completely gone off people's radars. Uh, just on that, Decky, uh, Decky, 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 uh, this one. Get, get your mitts on that. That's, uh, that's way, way better. That's an awesome ginger liqueur. This is stunning. Posh Gifard, Gifard Ginger of the Indies. That's amazing, that stuff. Right, hide. Hide, hide. hide. Where's my little mouse? There it is. Right, hide that. Red beard, here he is. Look, here he is. Work is taking over my life, but recorded but recorded last in this weekend, so content is on its way. Nice. Uh, right. Susan, I wish we could get more Kashasha. 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 I can't even say it now. Kashasha options here. Uh, just really like pitch you. And that's it. Wow. Okay. Uh, maple syrup is going to be my next coral. Jeff McJeff. Hello, Jeff McJeff. What's he got to say? Hi, Steve. At work, I keep an eye on a stream where I can. Hope everything is enjoying the sun. Yes. Right. Tom the gardener. Uh, I prefer it special to the three-year-old. Actually enjoy it more than the seven, uh, but it's in completely different rums. Yeah, 100% agree with that. Gregory Wall. Havana is the fifth best-selling rum in the world, according to... Yes. I haven't actually seen 2021 stats yet. I've seen 2020 stats, um, but I haven't actually seen 2021. It'll be interesting to see what happens during lockdown and covid um, I don't, well, obviously it's too early to release 2021 stats, um, but that'll be interesting to see what happened uh, last year because most of the stuff would have been online. Obviously, you didn't have the bar trade where, let's be honest, probably six out of every 10 bars are using that in daiquiris and mojitos. So when you haven't got the bars selling that, it's going to be interesting to see sales figures. It really is because you're relying on supermarkets and your masters of malts, whiskey exchanges, your your off license, your bottle shops, and stuff like that. So it's really, really going to be interesting. Uh, last year's sales, really interesting, because that'll be a true reflection of what I think is the people's choice. 
Because when you go out to the bar, you 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 can only buy what they sell. Which, as I say, if you if you want in, if it's a, I'm not talking like hotel cocktail bars. I'm talking your average bar chain, you know, and all that. The bars that you'll see up and down the country, and it will, as I say, six out of every ten will be pouring that as daiquiris, as mojitos, things like that. Of course they will. So when you take them out of the equation, that's going to be really interesting to see, uh, like the consumer sales volumes, what they've gone for. So I can't wait to see those figures. Probably looking sort of September, October time before they get released. Uh, right. Uh, right, £16. £16 assault. Right, 16 as well. Asda, Asda. We're not having rum X tonight. No, uh, what I was going to, but I'm just enjoying having the chats, to be honest. Uh, we can have rum X. We can do a bit of rum X if you want. Let's let's do a bit of rum X for Havana. There's no point on the Cuban, on the spiced, but we'll do, we'll do the, um, uh, what we're doing? Havana. And we are doing a special. So 73 people have reviewed this. For those of you that don't know, uh, right, hang on. Oh, I should have got I could put this on screen. There we go. Uh, oh, chat. Well, I need to hide the chat. Hide that. For those of you that don't know, that's what Tom is talking about, Rumex. Let's do a quick taste it. So color, let's do a quick color of the... It's quite light, actually. It's quite... I'm going russet muscat on the color. Uh, nosing tropical fruits. Um, caramel, tiny hint of wood, bit of vanilla. Right, let's, let's whack these in, Woody. Uh, vanilla! Let's search for vanilla. Why is vanilla not there? Vanilla. Vanilla, what did I say? Fruity, vanilla, caramel. Caramel, 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 caramel. Nice. Right, so that's what I'm going for in the old nostrils. Tasting wise, oh, so scores on the doors. I've got a funny feeling Rum X has been rolled out around the world now. I haven't spoken to Oliver. Uh, I don't know. I've got a sneaky suspicion you guys in America and Canada, and definitely some parts, can get Rum X now. If you can, download it. It's a flipping awesome app. Uh, and basically, we kind of score along like that. We've got little slidey bars, what I'm going to do now. So out of five, fruitiness, I'm going for three out of five for fruitiness. Uh, floral, eh, one. Spices, vanilla is a spice, so it's kind of there. One woody, one roasted, one rounded, two. I'm going for in that. Taste, right, taste. Tropical fruit. I think it's like a mixture of tropical fruit. Pineapple, mango. Got the options, banana, coconut, kiwi, mango, papaya, passion fruit, pineapple. I'm just going to put tropical fruit. Uh, definitely a sweet um, a sweet vanilla in there. Vanilla. Definitely um, sort of sweet caramel. What a sweet caramel? Caramel sweet, isn't it? I'm thinking even sweeter caramel. Let's go caramel. Butterscotch. Is that what I'm thinking? Creme brulee? Nice. Just go caramel. Um, and a subtle, subtle, subtle level of wood. Not too much. Actually, I'm going barrel, not wood, barrel. So a little bit of barrel. That's what I'm going for. Right. So uh, sweetness, I've got to go. I think I've got to go three out of five for sweetness. Fruit, uh, two out of five. Floral, one out of five. Spices, it's got a little bit, tiny, tiny little bit of pepper in there as well as the vanilla. Peppery spice. I need to put spice down. Spice, 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 spice. Peppery, peppery spice. There we go. Added that in. Uh, woody. One. Roasted. One. Rounded. Again, two. Finish. Um, short to medium. I'm going short for a finish. Right, and scores. I didn't look at what other people gave this. Um, I'm going to go 60s, which is pleasant. Oh, good. 70s is good. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right in the boundary. I'm going to go 70. 70 as good. That's what I'm going for. It's pretty decent, to be fair. Decent for rums under 50 quid. That's what I judge all these on. 
Um, I'm not going to, you know, there's no point me bracketing, well, I, should, I should do really, like the £100 rums in here as well. But no, for, for rums, the, the, my scoring system is based on rums under 50 quid. So for 70, I think that's pretty decent. So I'm going to lock that in. I've just got to put my little notes here. Uh, what's this called? Rumex. There we go. Right, boom, done. Save, right, and lock this in. And you can, I will kind of show you here because I have to come right up close for this. This is the spread. There we go. Look, the rating distribution. So a few people have scored at 10s and 20s. Oh, I should have gone in the 60s, look. <laughs> no, to be fair, 70 on the dot is not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. There we go. One person in the 90s. Brilliant. Right, so that's, that's that. Um, so having done the, the Coke on this, the video last week, I don't think there's any point in me mixing this with Coke. I hands down think this is the rum and Coke or rum and ginger. Um, that's where it is. Potentially cocktails as well, easy going, but then I probably wouldn't use this as a cocktail rum. I want rums that are really going to stand out in cocktails. Uh, so for me, this is the mixing rum. Rum and Coke, rum and ginger, rum and, uh, what am I looking at? Your Lilt, your Tropical Blast, your, uh, what are the mixes? Your pineapple soda we've got in there. I've got a tiny little bit of ginger ale. Let's just do that. It's a great rum and ginger ale. Really is. Easy going. Really easy going. Mm. Yeah. Happy with that. Happy with that. It's a bit of water. Keep me hydrated in this in this uh, sunny summer. Right, let's get rid of uh, Rumex now for two seconds. Right, there we go. Let's go back to the chat. Right, let's. Um, I forgot where I got to. Where's the Rumex chat? We're not having Rumex. There we go. Right, so Decky, uh, I guess this have to buy the spices. I guess they have to buy the spices for the spice drum. The spices for the spice drum is just a cordial, <laughs> it's just a flavour compound. So it'll be like 98% rum and like a flavour compound. There's there's nothing to <laughs> it's, there's nothing really to do with these sort of spice drums. It's not like Lazy Dog that we'll get into next week that actually use spices during like distillation and infusing and stuff like that. That's that. Is completely and utterly different to that. Completely and utterly different. So, yeah, don't think there's actually spices gone into that. There isn't. It's flavour compounds. They they have to for the for the amount they're producing. There's no way that they could spice that up with real spices. It's all cordials essentially. Flavour compounds and cordials. Right. Uh, Decky, he's falling out with who's falling out with Oliver. Oh, no, me, I guess. <laughs> no, I haven't. I just haven't spoken to him for a couple of weeks. Right. Martin Hales just... Oh, hang on. Just logged on, but usually known as Loxy. Nice. Hello, Loxley. Right. Uh, Waffle Mop is special. It's my winner in my book. Right, Stefan. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. Question. Has Drink Stuff reviewed... Are you? Never heard of that. Mobin Coconut Puree. Uh, whack that in the Discord, uh, mate, or send me a message on Discord, and I'll have a look at that. I've never heard of it. Mobin Coconut Puree. We drink stuff. We drink stuff, um, essentially do Monin, Coconut Puree, and Coconut Syrup. They do ODK Coconut Puree. They do ODK Coconut Syrup. They do William Fox Coconut Syrup, and they do the tins of Coco Lopez. There is absolutely no chance uh, in the world that they're going to take on another coconut product. I've never heard of Mobin. Um, I don't know who they are, what it is. Never heard of it. Um, G'day, Charles. Charles is now safely back in Australia from his flying visit. Charlie, I've, uh, I've, 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 I've done the video. I've done a four-way, I forget what I'm going to call it now, but it'll come out not next week, the week after. But uh, I think Steve tries four Australian rums. So we've we've done the video, we've tasted them, I've cracked the Bundy, I've had a whole reminiscent sort of uh, waffle on camera. Uh, so yes, they are done, young Charlie. Charlie very kindly bought me those four Australian rums uh, from Australia. Right, hide. Right, right, that's done. Let's uh, 
before I uh, carry on with more thingies, let's, let's just, I'm going to try again. It worked earlier. No, it's not working. It's not coming on screen. I don't know why. Right. Uh, this is the three-year-old, isn't it? Right. Havana three-year-old. So let's just have a little tasting of the three-year-old. A little bit of a grassy color to that. Oh, let's put the special back on there. Right. Let's bring you back on screen. Tinkering around. Hide. Boom. Right. So uh, the Havana three-year-old. Uh, price wise, 1985 Master of Malts. Um, used to be pretty easy to get in most supermarket brands, supermarket chains, but a lot of them, like Tesco's, delisted it. I don't know why. Um, don't know. I know Sainsbury's still do it. I think Morrison's still do it, but a lot of them have delisted it. No idea why. So let's carry on with the old comments and all that. Let's, 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 let's get the old. Uh, we can have a little bit of a nostril nosing and all that. 81 people have reviewed this on Rummix. Oh, his score is averaging 50. Holy hell, it's averaging 50 out of 100. That's, uh, yeah, you're right. Mummy Barman's just kind of wandered past and just, uh, what's going on in there? <laughs> um, right, we'll have a little taste of that in a second. Right, 82, averaging 50. Interesting. Right. Um... King's Ginger. Oh, yeah, well, King's Ginger. Right. King's Ginger chats. I like this chat. It's the, lots of random topics tonight. King's Ginger is in Waitrose, but if you go on Facebook page, it's full of hate. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. Uh, there's a new... There's a King, King's Ginger liqueur. For, yeah. Wow. See, I've, I've just not bothered with it. i just not bothered. Look, not interested. I just didn't get it. I don't get why they've... Why brands would do that? It takes me back to Sailor Jerry in 2009. I just I just don't get it. You've got all those sales. Why why mess with it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't get them. Don't get them. Right. That's horrific. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what happened last year? I found bought silly amounts of booze. <laughs> right. Steve. Uh, Martin, uh, I know it's well cheap, but Tesco Ginger Ale with Havana Club is really nice. Yeah, I to, to be fair, I don't, I've stopped buying, like, the te I buy Tesco soda water for masterclasses, but I've stopped buying the Tesco stuff because the bottles just, I, I don't mind the cans, like Tesco's do, um, like, cans of soda water now, but I, I prefer cans because they just keep fizzy. Um, the bottles, as soon as you open them, if you're just going to have a lot of drink, they just go flat. So, yeah, that's the only reason I don't buy, like, Tesco's bottles. Uh, so I ain't going to drink enough of them to keep it fizzy. I like it really kind of fizzy. Got, my belly can't handle it, but I love one proper, and then that'll do me for, like, two or, do, two or three days. Right. Uh, the hide. Right. I need to get on and taste this. Nice to see places like Asda are now stuck in most Havana bottles. Uh, I'll tell you what, boys and girls, do, do me a favour while you're all here, um, especially those of you that love your sort of spiced rums and all that, go and check out Redbeard's Rum Reviews, uh, and I would say subscribe to his channel, by all means subscribe to his channel, but watch his videos, that's the most, most important thing, go and watch his videos, um, so that, that's another channel for you to check out, uh, UK, West, West Country Boy, West Country Boy, right, hello David, how are you? Oh, it smells off this. Really kind of uh, citrusy, grassy, not agricole, nothing like that, but completely and utterly different vibe to the Havana Special. A little bit of vanilla on there, not too much, like nowhere near like plantation levels. You can instantly tell smelling it that it is a daiquiri mojito rum. It's just easily suited to that. A little bit of sugariness to it. But it is just that sort of grassy, floral kind of vibe. Again, nothing complex. You know, nothing in there is going to like put you off or anything like that. Citrusy. Lemon. Citrus. Definitely lemon over lime sort of citrus on there. I think that's all I'm really getting on that. Right, let's, let's, let's hit the magical taste it button. So we I can't call it gin clear. White wine, that's what we're going to call it. Right, nosing. I think I've just answered this. So citrus, I'm going lemon. Uh, tiny bit of vanilla. Uh, what else do I put? Grass. Grass. 
Cross, uh, Floral, Floral, uh, what else? Pause, yeah. I want to put Agricole, but it's like a, a real dull, it's like smelling Agricole from a distance, if you know what I mean. You can smell it's Agricole, but there, you've got that, it's just that sort of floral citrusy element. Uh, I will put citrus in there. I did put lemon, but I'm going to put citrus in there. Um, not sure what else on that. I think that's kind of it for me. Right, tasting, done. Oh, no, sorry, hang on. Right, fruits, fruit, lemon, citrus, obviously fruit. So, I'm again, that's got to be a three because it is really lemon citrusy. So, completely different type of fruit, but it is still kind of fruity. Floral, a poor, big again, three for me. Spices, I'm not even going to score that on spices. Oh, it's a little bit of vanilla. One, 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 one. Always, always forget spices like vanilla is a spice. Uh, woody notes, nothing. Roasted notes, nothing. Rounded, one. Right, taste. Very creamy. Again, nothing offensive in there. Decent entry level white rum. You can tell it's fantastic for daiquiris. It is. It's a great daiquiri, light, easygoing, mojitos, that kind of thing. I would potentially sip that neat in hot weather with an ice cube. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, Kuiperinias, you know, Kuiperissimus, sorry, which, not Kuiperinias, sorry, Wellington, uh, Kuiperissimus, that sort of citrusy lime drink uh, for me. Uh, so what else have we got on here? Um I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to, the tasting notes, I'm going to put a little bit of acricole, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of vanilla. Loads of people have put alcohol. I don't get the alcohol ethanol on that at all. Um, bitter solvents, no leather, no citrus. Yeah, I'll do that. Diluted. That's an interesting one. Cognac. No, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Right. Taste sweetness. Three. It's just kind of really creamy. Creamy. It's creamy. 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 Yeah, creamy can go under taste. There we go. Creamy. I've added creamy as well. Um, fruit, three out of five. Floral, two out of five. Spices. The vanilla is there very, very subtly. I'm going to give it a one out of five. I would score it like one out of ten. So half if I could, but I can't. Uh, woody, one, token one. Roasted, token one. And rounded, two. Right, finish. Short, very, very short for me on the finish. Right, um, there is, oh, the longer it sort of sits, actually, is the more alcohol bite comes out to it. Interesting. Right, scores. I'm going to be biased now because I've just seen what the average score. I think it's got to be way better than 50. Average scored 50. I'm going to lock this in at 62. I'm just going to go for it. It's pleasant. And this is... I'm being quite harsh in this because I've got a love affair with white rums here now. I've got 20 white rums behind me. 21 white, white rums. So just remember the husk. We've added the husk to that as well now. Um, and I have, you know, there are some stunning white rums in there. This is not stunning. It really isn't. It's definitely better than average, which is in the 50s. Um, so, wherever it sits, it's sat on 62. I'm going to, oh, I knock it down. 61. 61 pleasant. Let's lock that in. Save. And I'm just going to show you the white... Waiting, Jonathan Wass waiting. Uh, the rating distribution. Wow, wow. That's the first time I've seen that. Look at that. No one. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 83 ratings, 83 ratings. No one has scored it 80s or 90s. Absolutely no one. That's really interesting. Look at that. Wow, 30s, 40s, and 50s. That's really interesting. I don't think it's that bad. 
like you know for for bars to kind of use it and pour it and it's a, it always ranks in the top three for bar t- the bartender awards because it is a decent go to when your options are plantation three stars Havana uh, Bacardi El Dorado three year old um what else? Flor de Carne would be quite easy for most bars to get. To be fair, a lot of, but if you went to Master of Malt as a trade customer, you could get it. But I'm talking like your big distributors, your big wholesalers. Uh, and they're not really going to have you Roncubes. They're not going to have your Dorleys. Um, they are not going to have, some of them would have your Barcellos, but not all of them would have Barcellos. Uh, the Dappy White, you t- struggle to get in a lot of wholesalers. So, you know, this is does always co- sort of come top three for bartenders because it's one of the brands that's really easy to get. I would prefer daiquiris with that over El Dorado three-year-old. That's just how I am with that. Um, so, yeah, kind of happy with that. Right, lots of comics uh, to... Okay. Just, right, here we go. This is the first one that I've just kind of... This is ages ago. I can't see the time on that. Uh, must have been 2043 ish. What's the time now? Wow, 15, wow, 15 minutes behind on the old chats. Really, really sorry. I'm going to run through these very, very quickly. So it is in the US. Uh, it is in Canada. I love this. Yes, right. The important thing is to make profiles. So definitely don't do it anonymous. Do it and like log in, create a profile. You can't. You can't really search for people, but once you see someone, like any of us, you can kind of look at their scores and reviews and stuff like that. Whereas anonymous, you can't really do that. Uh, so definitely create a profile, but it's it's a brilliant, brilliant app uh, for t- kind of taking you on your rum journey. It really, really is. Um, Bunnicks, really good app. Rum here. Yeah, look at all you lot downloading Rumx. That's awesome. Uh, I have 29. I'm going to give, I'm going to shoot Oliver a message now after this. This is brilliant. I have 29 ratings on my Rum X. Might have to take 30. Nice one. Duffy Share Age Rum from California. Oh. Question Who was this from? Kevin. Sorry, Kevin. I blurred out your name while I was there. Which Havana is Mummy B's uh, favourite? She'll be on the spiced. 100% spiced. 100%. Although she might do the um, especially with ginger, she might kind of like that with ginger. Uh, Can't wait to hear about the lazy dog. I'm really looking forward to the lazy dog. So the silver blew me away. That's the only one I've tried. Right uh, when we went to Rumfest, because I just got. I'll, I'll tell the story next week. I won't say it twice, but that's the one I've tried. I have not tried the spiced rum. I said to them, perhaps don't bother with the slow rum. That might be a stretch too far. My resident rum geek, Big G, Garine, had bought a bottle of the slow, and he is an agricole man through and through. He bought a bottle of the slow and absolutely loves it. Uh, so I'm kind of regretting uh, not doing the taste along with the slow now and just doing those two. They've sold out of their gold rum. Uh, which is aged. They haven't got any more of that. It's just laying down now, aging again. Um, but yeah, the silver one. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying the spiced as well. But slow rum, yeah. Right. Uh, and Karen's on that as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, wood on a seven-year-old is strong. Mobin is the spelling. Oh, Monin. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, should, I should have guessed. <laughs> Well, when you're doing live streams, you're kind of concentrated on what's on front of you and you don't have the thought process to actually think that's a spelling mistake. <laughs> um, I haven't got the coconut morning puree yet. I really want it. It might be in the studio, uh, but I haven't got around to open it uh, and I can't wait to do that. Um, so no, I haven't done it yet. Um, it should be on the radar, but no, I haven't done it. I haven't done it. We'll get to it very, very quickly. Uh, I've opened. Oh no, I won't. I won't give you any spoilers for August. Actually, I was nearly said what's coming out in August, but I won't give you any spoilers for August. Right, Scott, uh, you're all laughing. I see. I'm like 15 minutes behind on these comments. <laughs> currently, haven't right. Currently, having a three-year-old daiquiri, but prefer plantation three stars. Yeah, I wish we could get Cuban rum and states. Uh, did someone say floral. Scott's on his grass notes. Gregory, Gregory, Gregory. Why are so many bottles in the UK only 700? 
750 mil is the standard in South Africa. I feel robbed. <laughs> uh, I've got news for you, Gregory, because now the US has opened its doors to 700 mil. You probably won't see 700. Give it to the end of probably 2023. You probably won't ever see a 750 mil bottle after 2023. Uh, it'll all be 700 mils. Now that now that the US has opened its doors to 700 mil bottles, I can pretty much predict that it'll be the end of 750 mil bottles. Um, because the 700 mil bottle is by far and away the biggest market. Um, that's why. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and to be fair, uh, all right, there's two sides to this. These are 500 mil bottles. Now, the two sides are, if it's a stock rum that I'm going to buy over and over and over again, yes, I completely get where you're coming from. The 750 mil is where, but I do love 700s. If it's a rum that I want to try, I flipping well love 500 mil bottles. I think, I think when brands cotton on to the fact that they can, will sell a lot more at 500 mil uh, than they would 700 mil price. Also, a lot if you don't like it, I think 500 mil bottles are a brilliant way to go as well. Right. Uh, cheers for the shout out. You're welcome, my friend. Oh, I've caught up with the comments. See, you didn't. There weren't too many comments between quarter two and now, were there? What's going on? Why are you not, not commenting? You're slacking off, aren't you? Uh, oh, Jonathan Ross. First daiquiri was three year old. Uh, I thought I'd never have another daiquiri. <laughs> oh, bless him. Wendy's here. Hello, Wendy. Uh, Bet gearing score. Bet Gearing scored the Havana 3. Gearing. Oh, Geraint <laughs> scored the Havana 310. <laughs> uh, Susan. No, go on. Bully, bully Susan. Uh, bully Susan's getting the... I wish this flipping graphic of this caption thing would work. I don't know why it's not working. That's really annoying me. All right. Now that I've got a bit of time and you're all here, edit. Right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Can I... Right. X. Right. Uh... Let's just do that and save, right? And then I'm going to create a new one. Paste. Show. All right, don't flip in like that. It's not going to work. I don't know why that's not working. That one. Boom. Boring. Right. Uh, right. So let's move on to, let's hide that. Uh, I wish I was drinking. Oh, hang on. We've and cod. Uh, a lot of our local distilleries are trying 500 mil options there, but it's just nice to see. I think 500 mil is, as I say, if it's a stock rum, if you're going to buy it over and, like there is zero point in doing Havana Especial in 500 mil bottles. Zero point. Absolutely no point. But there is every point in the road, in the world, for brands like this and, you know, Two Drifters, Rose Mullin, all the sort of little brands, there is every point to them doing 50 mils or uh, 50 CLs, 500 mil bottles, uh, just the way forward. Right, let's put this on screen and let's move on to the Havana 7, is it that one? No, that one, seven-year-olds, there we go, right. So Havana, let's top myself up with some water, 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 and get the old seven. I don't know why I've just reopened that bottle. Right. There we go. Havana, seven-year-old. And let's put you back on screen. Hide. Boom. You need little shortcut keys for this. I'm going to have to message these software people. They're really cool. Huh? Give them ideas. Like little, little, you could assign little shortcut keys just to press the button and it flashes out on screen without moving your mouse all around because it's a big old screen. Right. Oh, a bit of water. Keep you rehydrated. Actually, I might have another little, another little glass of water. Right. You've all given up commenting now, haven't you? Right, the Havana seven-year-old. Let's let's get you back in the comments. Right, I'll tell you what I want you to do now. We're having a poll in the chit chat. Straight up, thumbs up, thumbs down, your opinions of Havana seven-year-old. Thumbs up, thumbs down, or Maybe one of those if you're indifferent, all right? I want a poll in the comments. Get involved. I want to I want to get the general consensus of Havana seven-year-old. Oh, ice cold water. I love that. Right. So let's uh, let's get this. I'm just watching myself on the iPad there. <laughs> Why is that there? Um, get off. Right, let's get... Oh, get off. Boom, boom, boom. 
boom. I can't get the comments down yet. Oh, I've just closed the. What's going on? There. Oh, no. Right. There it is. Right. The Discord's going a bit nuts as well. Why are you all typing in Discord? You should be typing on the, the thing. I can see you all in Discord. David B, Windy, Scott, Nick, Loxley. I can see you all in Discord. You should be commenting out here. Play the game. Play the game. Right. Here we go. Havana Steve. I forget where you are. Where are you? Greece. I forgot where you are. Happy holidays. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Havana Steve. Havana is our resident um, Havana fan, obviously, with the name like that. Uh, I forget where, where I think, I'm sure you're Greece or Italy. Oh, it might be Italy. I forget where you are now, Steve. Enjoy your holidays anyway, your holly bobs. Right. Loving all these. There's a lot of thumbs up coming. Windy would rather have the six Kingston 62. Hang on, Windy. What, the, the gold Kingston 62 or the white Kingston 62? What? Italy. See, I got there in the end. Got there in the end. There was a little, there was a little sprig of inspiration. I thought, oh, he's actually in Italy, isn't he? Right. Uh, mostly thumbs up. I kind of like this. Maybe it's just the Skepta bottle. <laughs> it's the same flipping rum. Uh, sorry, I was making a daiquiri with local spiced rum. No sugar added spices to infuse. Cool Island Diaz. Why am I reading that? I should put that on the screen. I like these. Canadian spiced rums. Island Diaz. Nice. No sugar added. Nice, nice, nice. Right. White. Okay. Interesting. So let's get, let's do the old nostril test on this. I'm going to, now that Tom has bullied me, I suppose I better do, I've probably already done this. No, I haven't. This has been reviewed 106 times. I'm not going to look at the, uh, uh, I've seen the, I've seen the score, the average score. I'm not going to look at the, uh, the, the rating distribution. Right, so let's taste it. Magical taste it button. Uh, color. I think. I think now that you've all got the app, this is brilliant. I don't have to like show you all this, do I? I think this is genius. I'm going to message Oliver tomorrow, see how many downloads there was. <laughs> right, I'm going uh, Auburn Mahogany. Oh, I don't know. Auburn. I'm going Auburn. Right. So, on the old nostrils, with vanilla. It's a sweet, sweetish vanilla going on to it. Uh, like um, toffee. <laughs> uh, Robert Sung. We had this chat right at the start. The smoky is not a UK product. It was back in 2018 uh, as the bartender range. What what, we, what was it called? Professional range. There we go. Uh, so we had the tests for it, essentially. There were white label bottles. Um, but yeah, the Smoky is not a UK product. Uh, and the Skepta Havana 7-year-old, the Skepta 7 is exactly the same run, rum. It's the son of... Son of Skepta? What's it called? Son of Skepta, something of Skepta is the uh, limited edition one. The seven-year-old Skepta is just a limited edition label. That's all it is. It's exactly the same rum. Right. Let's go back to this. So vanilla, woody. Uh, I'm going, to, I'm just looking at the other bits here. Tobacco, barrel. I definitely agree with barrel. Um, I can't see toffee. It's loads of caramel though. So... Oof. I, I want to put toffee. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be bullied into putting caramel. I'm putting toffee. Dried figs, orange. Orange is a good shout. Orange. I like orange. I like orange. Yep. Uh, orange peel, leather, dried apricot, caramelized. Oh, caramelized. I think I like that better than caramel. I'm going for that. Saves me writing out toffee then. Tropical fruits. Yeah, I kind of like that as well. I'm going to agree with that. Right. So, fruit on the nose. I think it's quite fruity, actually. Um, I'm just trying to scroll down here, actually. Hang on. Bear with, bear with, bear with. So, fruit. Oh, not many people, not many others think it's fruity. I do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it a two out of five. Floral, uh, no. 
Uh, spices, because of that little bit of vanilla, I've got to put a one. Woody, again. I think two's a bit too much, but one's a bit too less. So again, it was one of those that I'd want to do one and a half or two out of ten, if you know what I mean. Three out of ten. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at two. I think two's a bit too much, but here we go. Roasted one, rounded two. Right, taste. It's definitely a step up from, especially. It's really nice tasting the rums like this, actually, without going directly to it from another brand. Now, whenever I've tasted this neat previously, I've gone from like uh, Kube, um, yeah, Kube and uh, Santiago de Cuba. That's the one I was thinking of, sorry. Kube, Santiago de Cuba and Bacardi and doing it along that. But actually, when you taste the Havana rums going up, it's actually very different. Like to do a brand showcase, it's, it's actually kind of an enjoy. I know that as soon as I pick up another bottle, like the Ron Cuba or the Santiago de Cuba, I'm going to think, oh, yeah, that's not that good. But tasting it from the Havana Special, that's definitely a decent step up. It's definitely a decent run. So when you're looking at it from that viewpoint, you can kind of guess why it does have a lot of lovers. If you've kind of, if you're a, a, a sort of a Havana fan, and you haven't really veered off many other to many other brands, then you are going to think that's really, really good. The problem is when you try Santiago de Cuba 8, for instance, that I haven't got. Uh, yes, I have. Sorry, the 8 I've got. It's the 11. That I've got the new 11 and one. When you've got the Santiago 8, when you've got the Picardi 8, when you've got the uh, Cuba uh, Añejo there, um, it ceases to become a brilliant rum then. But from the Havana especially up, it's pretty decent. There is, there is a little bit of tobacco in this. Caramel, is, it's not that sweet at all. It's slight wood tannins on the sort of back of your tongue. Quite, quite a bit of wood tannins, actually. Definitely not sweet. Stone fruit. I want to kind of go apricot vibes. Interesting. I'm just, it's just those taste. It's not actually the liquid, it's the taste on the, my dry tongue, if you know what I mean. The taste that's left. Definitely tobacco is there. Wow. I don't really think I've picked that up before. When I swill it in my mouth, I almost get like plum. And then it sort of disappears. That's really right. Okay, let's let's start tasting. What other what have other people got here? Woody, spicy, caramel, spice, vanilla, alcoholic, chocolate. Bit, well, maybe mm, maybe bitter, really bitter, dark chocolate. Round oh cocoa, uh, cocoa. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll agree with that. I'm going to put that in. Right, Woody, I'm going to agree with. Caramel, I'm going to agree with. Spice. Vanilla. Oh, dried apricot. There we go. That's the sort of stone fruit I was kind of picking out. Um, cocoa, I'm going to hit. And oak, I'm going to hit. Thin. It's a few people put thin, and I kind of get what they mean by that. It's not a luxurious rum in the mouth. But it does have a decent profile to it. For me, right, I'm going to be brutally honest here. In that category, because I have done the side-by-side -side tasting, for me, it, it way lacks, like, below the, the Santiago de Cuba, the 8. Uh, I do prefer the Picardi 8 as well. Uh, less woody in that. Definitely more uh, apricot, stone fruit forward, that one. The Kube 8, I kind of love. Um, and 
to be brutally honest, I love the uh, Kube and Yeho as well. Um, they're just, you know, they're just really nice sipping rums. Really, really nice sipping rums. Um, yeah, I don't know. Havana Seven's just never really done it for me until I've kind of just stepped up from the special. And now that I've done that side by side tasting, you kind of think, oh, yeah, that's a really good step, step up. But I know how the others taste. So I'm like, mm, yeah. Right, okay. This, this. Sweetness, two out of five. Fruit, two out of five. Floral, nothing. Spices, one out of five. Nothing much there in spices. Woody, two out of five. Roasted, one out of five. Rounded, two out of five. Finish, medium. Score, um... I'm going good. I'm going to go 73. It might be a bit too high. I'm going 70. Good. It's good. Uh, 69 is pleasant. So 70 is good. I, I can't, for me personally, I can't give it that higher. Or, or give it any higher, I should say. Right. Tasting added. Let's see the rating distribution. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That's that's kind of interesting. Rating distribution. There we go. Look. So a couple of people in the forties. It's it's better than forties and fifties. A hundred percent better than that. Majority in the sixties. Just slightly. Quite a few in the seventies. Eighties and nineties. So you can see, like 70, 70 out of a hundred would be a very, very average score. So I'm kind of with the majority there. You know, kind of happy with that. Right, let's do that. Uh, I can't be asked to make this. Trevor Trevor Rose, who's not actually here, did sort of say a couple of cocktails. What did he say? The old Cuban, the Hemingway daiquiri, uh, El Presidente. I can't be asked. They're not cocktails that I want to kind of make. To be honest, the old Cubans like um, topped up with a little bit of prosecco in there or champagne. It's not, it's not my cup of tea. The old Presidente is not my cup of tea really either. Like, um, like a flip on a Manhattan with a bit of uh, grenadine in it. That's what uh, an old Presidente is. What's the other one? Him and Ray daiquiri. You know, a bit of maraschino, a bit of grapefruit juice in there. I just prefer a normal daiquiri if I'm honest. Um, if you guys want to make cocktails, then you go for it. Um, uh, for me, the cocktail I would do from that, I'd, I'd potentially use that for a mixing rum. Hang on. I've got plenty here. Might need an ice cube because the uh, the ginger ale's got a bit warm. Uh, rum fashioned. Definitely a rum fashioned. I think, like, bitters with that, I think that's really good. I'm going to... Um, Check out Steve pulling tobacco into the taste. <laughs> I'm going to scroll back through some of these comments in a second. And then before we get into the Cuban barrel proof, that's the, one, that's the exciting one. It's a decent rum and ginger, but I prefer the especial. It's a mixing rum. I prefer the especial with ginger, if I'm honest. It's just, it's just trying to be too much and doesn't really do it for me. Right, um, let's just come back to these comments. I forget where it got. Oh, I can see all these thumbs up. So the majority, there's a lot of thumbs up. There's a couple of uh, thumbs down. Decky Doughty's got a thumbs down. Uh, Tanner's there. Right, Robert. Uh, that's where I got to there. Loving the amaretto pina colada. Nice. Drums and rums. Hello, drums and rums. Drums and rums is what is here. Look. Hello, my friend. How are you? Right. Five smoky in Stiggins is not overpowering. Uh, the smoky Stiggins gets a shout out on Tuesday. Uh, so keep an, keep an ear out for that on Tuesday. I had massive audio problems with the next lot of videos that are coming out. So I do apologize for that. Uh, it's definitely listenable. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. Um, they're it's just not brilliant audio. There's a couple of little distorty bits on there. My the settings on my audio recorder just went up tits up for some reason. Um, it's it's definitely listenable, but it's not the best audio in the world. So it's the next four videos I've done, unfortunately, that are like that. Um, but they are they're all right. They're listenable. 
All right, Gregory, calm down. Do this. Do the selection next. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, Jack Pimp was going to do the same thing. I don't have one bottle of that. I only have the sevens. Right, seven, seven, sevens. Gregory, I know cigars are stereotypically paired with rum, but since it was mostly legalised here in South Africa, gourmet cannabis joint. <laughs> okay, uh, nice. Yeah, we couldn't be doing that in the UK. <laughs> right, uh, Steve-O. Steve-O, I do enjoy the seven with a twist of lime and a splash of ginger beer. Interesting. I'll tell you what I should have done, actually. No way. No way. I was going to crack my passion fruit ginger beer out with that. Karen. Uh, I really like Bacardi 8 with Coke, so Havana isn't as good as 8 but then I won't make it. Yeah, I honestly, I, I, Karen, just reading between the lines from what you've sort of commented and what you've kind of said, I think your palate would definitely, at the moment, be suited to more to Bacardi than Havana seven-year-old, if I'm being honest. You know, if you can get a little bit to try, then do it, but I, ju I just think Bacardi 8 would be your thing. Right, I've seen something here. Wonder how many ratings for Havana Club in Bacardi version in the USA. Right, Stefan, you've got to remember this is predominantly a German app, German European app. So the US, the only real people that will have got this now in the US, and that is people that have listened to me. Uh, and maybe I think it may have been mentioned on the Rumcast podcast. May have been. I'm not overly sure. Not a massive deal. Um in fact, I'm not sure it has. I think I've given given it a shout out. So predominantly, most of the reviews are German uh, and then the rest of Europe. There's quite a few in the UK. But when you go through and see people's uh, flags and that, so the whole point I'm saying is very few, if any, will be rated um, that, the Havana Bacardi version. Very, very few. Little to know. Probably will start now, to be fair. Um, but yeah. Uh, fashioned, right? Bingo Ringo wants me to do that. Stefan, fantastic. Fifty-four watching. Numbers are dropped. Must be some. What's the time? Half nine. People are going to bed. School night, innit? Right. The, the Irish, the Northern Irish, are talking to each other. Philip and Steve O. Right. Let's crack out the Cuban barrel proof now. Let me put this on uh, screen for the old chapters. Uh, selection the maestros. Did I spell that right? Select, select. I did spell it right. Look at me go. Wow. 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 Now, I I will kind of say that I've never been a huge Havana Rum fan. Um, Never been the rums that I kind of... I, Havana three-year-old, pouring deals, of course it was. You know, mojitos and daiquiris and that sort of stuff. Um, but, you know, personal consumption, never been a huge fan. This was the rum that changed all this for me. It was launched in 2005, 2006. Uh, and it was, back in the day, the Cuban Barrel Proof. And oh my God, it was lovely. 46% ABV, 45% ABV. And oh wow, this kind of changed my perception of a manner. Uh, at the point when it launched, I was doing a case a week of this. I was doing six bottles a week of this. My Perno Rico, or Perno Rico couldn't, um, couldn't believe what I was doing with it. I was one of their top uh, accounts for this. Uh, basically running a student bar at the time. We were going through shed loads, absolute shed loads. Um, it was just stunning, stunning stuff. So, and I would love to have an old bottle of that Cuban Barrel Proof to kind of, because I'm guessing it will slightly have changed. Different blend, you know, not too much, but a slightly different blend. Uh, but I would love to do the comparison of the Cuban Barrel Proof to this. It won't be too dissimilar, but obviously over the years, you're now talking 17 years ago. Yeah, 17 years ago, you know, I, could, I suspect it is a little bit of a change to it. So, Selection... The maestros, and this again has had 87 uh, ratings. So let's get the old taste it button up. Uh, let's scroll that down over there. Right, 
There we go. Right. Uh, the, at the Northern Irish stall finish. Let's just dive into this question first. David Bonner. David, David, what Cuban rum would you recommend as an all-rounder for tiki drinks? Ooh. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go controversial here. Because I'm gonna go for availability and price as opposed to what I think. If I was being brutally honest, I would probably go uh, something like the Kube Añejo. Um, I think that's an absolute belter. I really, really do. But you have to go online for that. What I would say, because it is going out there, I would say the, the um, Santiago de Cuba 8. This is a belter. It really is really good. Decent price. It's decent rum, full of price. Um, you know, I forget, 22, I've, I've seen it on offer in Tesco's for £22. I think it would normally be £26, but uh, Tesco's 22 which means Sainsbury's will have it on offer at some point as well. Um, yeah, I think, I think that would be a great shout for those sort of tiki kind of cocktails in there. Don't think I'm missing anything. Uh... Yeah, Cuba, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Right. Uh, small Bambridge, Cuba is exceptional. Right, 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 right. So let's dive into the old nostrils of this. I've already, as you can tell, I've already had a little pull of this. This is completely different. So this is kind of very woody up front, actually. Wood sort of put me off a little bit. A um, little bit of smoke in there. But once you sort of peel that away, it is a little bit fruity. Getting, what's that? Sort of, I, wanted, I was going to say nut, like almond, marzipan. Little bit of, oh, a little bit of glue. A little bit of glue, a little bit of solvent, polish, nail polish. That's the word I'm looking for. And uh, vanilla, but it is very heavily wood influenced on the old nostrils. So let's bung that in. Um, am I, what did I say? Oh, I've got to do the colour first, didn't we? Colour. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's do the old colour. Uh, it's a bit darker. My whole burnt, burnt, um, oh, burnt umber. It's a bit too red. Mahogany. Mahogany. I'm going to dial that in at mahogany. Right. So, um, vanilla. Wood, uh, nutty has popped up here. Uh, caramel, what have other people put? Alcoholic barrel, oh, yeah, barrel. I agree with that. Oak, brown sugar, spice, smoky. Yeah, I agree with smoky. Toasted tobacco. Oh, I didn't really get. I didn't really get those tobacco vibes. So I've got off the seven. There's that element. Do you know what that is, right? I'm so for those I've said it a couple of times now. For those of you that don't know, uh, amaretto di Serrano is actually made from apricot kernels, the nuts of apricots, not almonds. Many people think it's like amarettos can be made or are made from almonds, but di Serrano is actually made from an apricot kernel. When it's like um, sort of I don't know what the word is, pulverized down, like grated down, or whatever they do to it you do really get like the almond taste of it from an apricot kernel. Now, the whole point of me saying that is because I think that's where my sort of apricotiness comes from because I definitely get sort of marzipan, but it's not, it's not like a Christmas cake marzipan. It's like very subtle there, but sort of leans into a bit of fruit. And that's kind of what I'm kind of that, what that reminds me of. Right. So definitely not tobacco. People have put coffee. I'm not. I'm not sold on coffee. I'm going to leave that and dried fruit. Um, yeah, for the for the I'm 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 going to be specific. Pacific. I'm going to be specific. Uh, I'm going to put apricot. Apricot. There we go. Boom. Done. 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 Right. Fruit. 
one out of five. Floral, nothing. Spices, vanilla, one out of five. Woody, definitely a two, maybe, maybe even a three out of five. Roasted, uh, two out of five. Rounded, two out of five. Right, taste. Now, bear in mind that the smell-wise, it's not my kind of rum. From the smell, I'm like, I'm not going to enjoy this. It's not what I personally want from a rum, from the smell. Right, taste. This is lovely. Now, it has got the luxuriousness. It is still quite woody, but that luxuriousness really does balance out the wood for me. There is a little bit from it that has to be apricot. There is that sort of stung through apricot thing coming through. Vanilla is sort of there in the background. Not so much, nowhere near as much tannin as the Havana seven year old. It's just really pleasant to sip neat. Bearing in mind that's a stronger rum as well 45% ABV. Um, just looking for inspiration for what others got. Other people have put woody, tobacco, caramel, vanilla, spicy, alcoholic, toasted, dried fruit, cocoa. Cocoa, I'm really struggling with this cocoa coffee as well for me right how i'm going to describe this is so we've got the pusses 15 up there which for me is probably the most whiskyish rum that i own behind the bar it's very whiskey forward very oak barrel forward very dry definitely one for serious rum drinkers definitely one for serious rum drinkers this is on the same lines, but more approachable. Whiskey fans are going to like this. But I don't think... All right, so it's £50.5p. 50 what was the price of this? Just over. £15.95, Master of Malt. I think you... I'm including it. I say fit under 50 quid. That's a tolerance for me. I think you can probably get this under 50 quid if you tried. Um, so, yes, it's a big, big step up in price. But the golfing quality between that and the 7 is, like, massive. Absolutely massive. There is just no competition between the two. I know it's double the price. Is it double? 7-year-old, 24. Yeah, double the price. 24 95 for that. 50 quid for that. Double the price, but... I am going to say that is doubly as good. I I wouldn't waste 25 quid on the Havana 7-year-old. I would spend out 50 quid on this and just have, have it less often because I'm going to enjoy this a lot more than I am now. And there's no point in me having or buying rums that I just don't enjoy. This, I wouldn't kind of say entry, I definitely think you need to do, for, for anyone that hasn't encountered this yet, I definitely think you need to do your, I've moved them all around, didn't I? Like your Appleton 12s, your, it's this side, isn't it? Your Dawley's 12-year-old, your El Dorado 12-year-old. I think you need to kind of do that journey first before you hit that, because that is not as sweet. It is more wood forward than oak barrel forward than what any of those are. And they are more approachable. But I think this is just a little bit above them in, in quality. In that, and I really do enjoy this. Is it, I forget what the price now, is it as good for me as the Dawley's 14-year-old? No. Uh, the Dawley's 14-year-old at the moment is still my pinnacle. That is a gorgeous rum. Absolutely gorgeous. Um Roughly about the same price. I think Dawley's might have another fiver on it. it. Might be like 55 quid, something like that. But this is definitely lovely. There's the chocolate. 
That wasn't there a minute ago. Wow, there's huge amounts of chocolate there now. As soon as you put it in your mouth. That wasn't there five minutes ago. That has opened up that quickly. Huge chocolate notes. That definitely wasn't there. It's like a big old bar of dairy milk. Holy, that wasn't there five minutes ago. I can't have oxidized that quickly, but whether my palate is just, or my, my mouth has just got used to it and now it's bringing out more flavors. Oh, that is, that's good. That's the real journey rum as well because there's different layers to that. I like this. Right, sweetness, two out of five. Fruit, one out of five. Floral, nothing. Spices, because of those tannins and a little bit of peppery, one out of five. Woody, two out of five. Roasted, two out of five. Uh, rounded, two out of five. Finish. Love. If it's medium long, I'm going to put long. I'd say it's medium long, but I'm, I'm going to click the long button because it's still there. Um, right, scores. I'm going to go in the very good. I'm not going high very good um, because there are rums, other rums behind here that I'm going to, even now, cheaper rums, to be fair, that I'm going to grab that I want to sip over this. Notably, Appleton 12. I still enjoy it more than this. Um, Dorley's 12. I possibly still enjoy it over that. Um, that's the rum I haven't really. There we go. That's probably the comparison. It's like a more full-bodied version, thicker, more luxurious version of Flawed Carnet 18. That's probably where I'd put that, actually. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I'm, I've, I'm trying to think about it. I'm trying to memorise it. Let's just let's just crack it. Florida Carnet 18. Yeah, 100 percent on that same sort of wavelength. It's more luxurious, it's more creamier in the mouth but very, very similar flavour profile. Obviously, Nicaragua, Flor de Carne, it's still column still rum, so it has got that lightness to it, as opposed to like pot still rum or a blend. Um, Cuban rums, there, there will be column still, Spanish style of rums, column still rums. Molasses rum as well. Very, very similar flavour profile. That's... I'm really interested now. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to refresh my mouth with a bit of water. Right. Chocolatey, woody, whiskey, not too sweet, bit of toffee. Definitely more, definitely more viscous, more creamier. Definitely. Very, very similar flavour profiles. Very similar. But there's more body to the Havana. Maybe sweetened. I don't know. Um, I don't know, actually. Does it say anything? Well, I'm gonna, just going to save that 82. Have we got anything there? Seven grams of sugar per litre, according to Rumex. We don't know. That's not official, obviously, but that's what people have put in. I don't think Flor de Canner is sweetened, but again, we can look. We can look. Hang on. Uh, Flor. 
18. Eight grams of sugar per litre. So this is only what people are putting. They've done the reads. Oliver basically goes through it and looks and kind of, if it, you know, if someone put 20 grams of sugar per litre in there, he'd kind of like, no, of course not. So he, do, he does kind of look. Him and his, I forget his name, uh, but it's two of them that run the app. Um, they do kind of look and sort of review everything before it goes live. So there is some element of truth to it. But yes, very, very similar. Hang on a minute. Uh, I just want to look at the flavour wheels. Let's just compare this to the Cuban Barrel Proof. Right. Wow. Almost identical flavour and taste wheels. The only difference, so the nose is very, very similar. The only thing I'd say is that the Flor de Carnia comes out, is scored higher on roasted, but everything else is identical. Right, um, and on the taste, the only difference is on floral. There's more people have put more floral. Yeah, people have put more floral in the Florida Cania than they have the the um, Cuban barrel proof. Like, there's absolutely no floralness to the Cuban barrel proof, but people have put floral in there. But apart from that, they're all identical. Very, very similar uh, tasting notes as well. So Cuban Barrel Proof, woody, tobacco, caramel, vanilla, spicy, alcoholic, toasted, dry fruit, cocoa, Flor de Cana, vanilla, spicy, caramelized, chocolate, woody, alcoholic, nutty, licorice and oak. So licorice is the different one there. And no dried fruit. Wow, that's fascinating. There we go. So if someone could... Um, uh, I've just seen Windy. Windy, thank you very much. Let's let's put Windy up on screen for this show. Boom. Windy's paying me to pimp myself out with super chats. Right. I will I will go back through the rest of the comments in a minute. Uh, I what makes a better rum and coke? Florida Carnia 18 or Havana? Right. I'll tell you what, what I want someone to do as well in the comments is just put the price of the Florida Carnia 18. In the price, uh, sorry, the logged out master malt. So uh, I'm just thinking, who's got trade accounts here, like Kevin and all that? I, I basically want the logged out master of malt normal price for the Flor de Carnia 18 year old. That's what I want. I have got some Coca Cola opened. Uh, the end that I was drinking earlier. Right, let's do these. I love these little. These little tasting glasses. These are epic little tasting glasses. And I'll measure this and do it all scientifically and all proper. Because because we want to, we want to, Wendy's giving me the super chat, so we kind of want to do this properly. No kind of like glugs. This is science. If someone just asked me, I'll just glug it. But as Wendy's giving me a super chat, basically paying me to pimp myself out, uh, we, we'll do it all properly, won't we? We'll do it all properly. So, I promise you, this is fresh Coke, even though it didn't look it. <laughs> <Ooh. gasps> right. Oh, they're bang on level. I thought I'd ruin the experiment. Right. <laughs> I was just thinking which way was the right way around. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What did I just do? I didn't put any rum in the Floyd County 18, did I? Right. Did I just put a Cuban barrel proof in both of those? I don't know what happened. Right. I'll tell you what, we're starting again. The things I do for a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's start again. Ice cube in both. Ice cube in both. I think I put cube uh, cube, uh, cube uh, selection of the maestros in both, didn't I? Right. So that's what confused me. Right there we go. Havana that side. Uh, Florida Cania. Cool, I'm on it, innit? Cool. I would have been tasting these, going, yeah, yeah, this one's better. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't put that in, did I? Right. 
So I'll get a fresh can of Coke out for you as well. There we go, fresh, fresh can of Coke, right. There we go, right. So we've got Cuban Bale Proof. Selection de Mustros. We've got Flor de Carne at 18. We've got water. Right, a drum roll. Is someone giving me the price? Whoa. £51.46 for floor. The whole reason I was asking for the price, I was expecting that to be about 30 quid. Hang on then, as you love having a race, can someone put the 12 year old price in the comments as well? Because surely the 12 year old is like 25, 30 quid, isn't it? So, the t floor to kind of 12 year old in the comments, please. Logged out, master remote. That is a really good rum and coke. Really, really good rum and coke. I like that. Right, palette refreshed. I tell you, it's for a five or four pound, four pound fifty. That one. Or oh, that one for me. I'm, susp I'm suspecting it's weaker. Yeah, forty percent ABV. Or oh, no, I do. I do prefer that. That's a really good rum and coke, but I prefer this one. This more easy going. That is really nice. Um, I'm going to rephrase that. That is a really, really good run coke. But I prefer that one. It's marginal. It's marginal. I basically got strong. Oh. See, this is where you, you have to go back and watch the Havana video, the rum and coke video, to understand what I was kind of meant by that. Because if I want a rummier drink, I'm just going to drink a neat rum. Right? So, and I know that's just me. I know that's why a lot of you buy Havana seven year old, because you can't drink. I don't mean this in a bad way, but you, you don't want to drink neat rum, but you want a stronger drink. So I know why a lot of you buy that as opposed to that for rum and Cokes. I completely get you. I really, really do. But my point is, if I want that stronger rum forward drink, I drink neat rum. I don't drink rum and Coke. Therefore, when I do drink rum and Coke, I want an easier going but tasty rum and Coke. And that's where that sits for me. That's that's really really good. That's just lovely flavour, subtle hint of vanilla, wood oaky barrelness to it, um, plenty of rum notes coming. But it is more easier going than what the Cuban Barrel Proof is. That's I just wanted to spend more money at Master Malt. I can't believe. Right here we go, thirty four pounds. I can't believe, I had no idea. Sorry, I had absolutely no idea. Uh, let's, let's put Scott's on. That's the one I've landed on. I had absolutely no idea. That was 51 quid. 51.50 for that. You're going to have to bear with me now because I don't think it's that expensive. Right, hang on a minute. The keyboard will have died and I need to get uh, this up and put this down here. Right. Um, right. You are going to have to bear with me because I want to see my price for this. Um, I told you my keyboard died. Right, there we go. Master Bluetooth keyboards. Master of malt. There we go. Right. 
Am I logged in? Oh, I'm not flipping logged in. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right, bear with, bear with. Right, here we go. Right, floor. Uh, I don't like Master Master Malt. I've had a little facelift as well. I'm not. I don't want change. I don't like change. I love change, but I don't want change. Right, I'm so small. I can't see which one that is. Right, open incognito. Uh, except that would help, right? Boom, 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 boom. Bear with. Sorry, I know this is really dull and boring, and people, you're all sitting there going, oh, What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, flipping hell, I've got to do this again. Uh... <laughs> wow. So, my price. I knew it wasn't fifty. That's really surprised me. I knew it wasn't that much. Uh, Thirty. What's that say? Thirty-four forty-two plus VAT. So what's that? Thirty-four. Thirty-four forty-two times one point two forty-one pounds. So that's a tenner. I knew it wasn't that expensive. Get yourselves a trade account if you've got a business. Get yourself a trade account, seriously. <laughs> Master of Mole, Jesus. Right, okay, let's, let's do that. Let's hide that. Right, let's go back to, uh, yeah, if you haven't got a trade account, if you've got, a business, if you've got your own business, get yourself a trade account. Right, uh, so many comments here I've got to catch up on. Uh, tell you about something special. Right, uh, Scott, uh, can I hide that? I can hide that very quickly. There we go. Right, £22 in Gibraltar. There's that, Scott. Right. What's Steve-O saying? Have you tried the selection with some cola when I get home? Have to try. Steve has said it's the best. Yeah. Honestly, it's better than um, it's better than the seven-year-old all day long. Definitely better than the seven-year-old. Right. Da, da, da. $56. They're both the same rum. Oh, yeah, that's me pouring it. <laughs> yeah, I think I was, yeah, so I'm going to have a loads of you ripping the piss out of me now for putting the same rums in there. Right. Oh, D David Bonner, David Bonner's done a super chat as well. Thank you very much. Cool. I've made, what have I, I've made nine pounds tonight. Thank you very much, boys and girls. <laughs> Less tax. <laughs> oh, look at Kevin, look. Kevin, Kevin being all, nah, nah, you did this. <laughs> I know I did. I didn't even need you to tell me that. I know I did. Uh, shame age statement is a bit sketchy. I don't think it is sketchy. I think Big G is getting in your head. Uh, 38 on 38. Yeah, so yours would be plus 3AT as well. So what's that? 38.59 times 1.2, 46. So that's still saving a fiver. Um, over a five. What was it? 40, 50. Where's it gone? Ah, I've lost it. 51.46. 51. Yeah, so you're saving about a fiver with the trade account. All right. Master Remote, we're going to be getting lots of people coming forward with uh, random businesses tomorrow, aren't they? Right, uh, but you're paying postage. It's not so bad, really. Yeah, so that that is the difference as well. Well, my, that price that I so the trade account. I've I've got a slightly different price uh, with Master of Bowl. I've got a trade account as well that I use for business for master classes and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yes, we do pay postage on trade accounts. But if you if you don't, you get. Um, I'm not sure. I couldn't really get my head around this because it's a master of malt. We've got Prime, where you pay like a, a yearly thing and you get free delivery, like Amazon Prime, essentially. Um, now, who I forget, uh, we were Stefan on uh, last week, a couple of two weeks ago now, quite as ages ago, wasn't it? Um, he told us that Amazon Prime, uh, master of malt Prime, is still a thing, but I've had it confirmed that it's not a thing and they've closed the doors 
it will potentially roll out, but they're not taking on new people. Now, I don't, I don't know because I, I can't see it because I, unless I create a new account, I can't, which can't be asked to do, I can't see it. So I don't know um, if you can get Master Remote Prime or not as a mere morsel. Um, but my my delivery fee on my other is only £2, next day delivery anyway. So it's, it's neither in or there. And so if I ordered like six bottles, it's, it's two quid. I've ordered tw 12 bottles, it's free. So it makes no odds to me. Uh, you know, just just wanted an excuse for an extra drink. Yeah, just thought. Just, I'm quite impressed by that, actually. I've never done that comparison to that. That's the Cuban, and that is the Florida County. Mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, then, um, that's. That's kind of where I got to with my uh, knowledge bombs and all that tonight. Um, the the little guided tour, like, like back on ten o'clock, like, like that. Uh, I'm I'm happy to hang out here for a few minutes and answer questions or whatever and have some banter. So if you've got any questions, if you want, if you want another little tasting of anything, um, don't forget though. I tell you what I will do. While there's loads of people here next week for my members. So my members have all got some of this lazy dog white, silver, sorry. I've called it white on the old pouches. I'm sorry, but it's silver, silver rum and some spiced rum. My members that wanted to get involved have um, got some of this winging its way to them. We are going to have the guys from Lazy Dog on live with us next week. They're going to be telling you all about their journey, their rum, their processes. If you've got any questions, uh, they will be more than happy to answer questions and have banter. Uh, I've sort of said to them 8.15 till 9 o'clock, so 45 minutes. Um, if you've got loads of questions, we might be able to persuade them to come on longer. Um, we might do a few cocktails with it, a few mixes. We don't know, but this is the first um, proper, we've done a couple, but first proper taste along for the membership sort of perks. And I say we've got streamer tail so what hang on i'll tell you what i can do now that this scroll won't work um close that i'm just let me just close this uh put that down and come back to the diary so we have got lazy dog on the 24th of july uh, and then on the 30th obviously it's black tot day sorry 31st it's black tot day so i'm going to be getting out and there's a quite a few of you that keep coming out do the root taste the woods taste the woods so black tot week uh, in two weeks time i'm just going to be getting black tot i'm going to be getting woods i'm going to be getting pussins out uh, there's another navy rum worthy park there's another navy rum that isn't a navy rum but i thought was exceptional navy rum completely forgot what that is but it'll come to me uh, so that will come out in two weeks' time. Then we get into August. So August, the first Sunday in August, the 7th, we're having a taste along with Stratford Sodas. My membership community have got discount codes to buy some Stratford Sodas. Um, so we can all have like a mixer taste along on the 7th. Craft Rum Club will be on the 14th. And then we've got Streamer Tail, a Jamaican rum, uh, on the 21st of August. Uh, so that's one to look forward to. Stream Tail is a lovely white Jamaican rum, really, really nice uh, white Jamaican rum. So Archie's going to be coming on to talk about that with us. Uh, and then I've got nothing planned for the end of September. End of August, sorry, 28th. That's bank holiday weekend. Not sure whether what to do then. Right. The 4th of September, uh, Dave Marsland, Mr. Rum, uh, Manchester Rum Fest, Mr. Um, Spirit Bam UK, Mr. Chairman's Reserve, Brand Ambassador and all that, is going to come on and we're going to have a rum agricole taste along. We're going to be doing some Clement. Uh, so we've got Clement 40. We've got the um, Clement Shrub, the orange liqueur. We've got the Clement Cane Blue and we've got the Clement... B-S-O-P, forget what it is now. We're going to be doing four that. So members, again, will be able to get access to those rums. Just little, little drams, a uh, little tasting pack. This is what I do. I've got my little, hang on, if I can get one here. I've got my little 
So basically the, the brands are sending me rum and I'm just dramming it up in little pouches like this and then sending it off to my membership. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we'll be having four agricoles, maybe five, because I really want to add one in there off my own back. Um, so we might be doing that. Uh, so then on the, so we've got the Craft Rum Club on the 11th of September. On the, you don't have to remember these dates. I'm going to publish it. But on the 18th of September, this is definitely one for the members with the sweeter tooth and the flavoured. We are having Spirited Union. Uh, they are a Dutch brand and they redistill rum with flavours. So they are flavouring up and spicing up rums, he says. I'm just jumping into life. Spirited Union. So they are flavouring and spicing up properly. This is Spirited Union. I've got a little bit of the salted current, uh, sea salt and spice left. Um, so as I say, they take rum and redistill it with botanicals and flavours and stuff like that. Uh, so I've not, we haven't decided what rums we're doing yet, but they're going to come live from Holland. Uh, so it might be one rum, it might be two, it might be three, it might be four. I don't know what we're doing yet, but that's Spirited Union. And then the last one booked in at this precise moment, Dave Marsland is coming back at the start of October and we're doing a bounty taste of longer. Five Bounty. Bounty is the entry level uh, chairman's reserve. So we're going to be doing the dark rum, the spiced rum, the gold rum, the white rum, and I want to say coconut rum. I think it's coconut. I think that's the five. Um, I might have missed one. White, dark, gold, spiced. I'm sure it's coconut. But Bounty, I've got I think I've thrown the bottle now. Uh, I did have Bounty Spiced, but it's empty. It's been empty for a long, long time. No, uh, yeah, it's, the bottle's gone. Uh, bounty, Bounty, Bounty. Yeah, the bottle the bottle has gone. I'm sure the bottle's gone. I can't see it. Uh, yeah, the, bot the bottle's gone. I don't know why I would have thrown it. That's a bit silly, because I've kept all the other empties. I'll probably find it as soon as I go off here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're really good. It's basically the entry level chairman's reserve rum. Uh, so that's what I've booked in so far. There is going to be more taste alongs coming, more brands. Uh, I'm with a lot of brands this Friday coming, so I can uh, extend the offer to a lot of brands. There, I want to get Pete Holland on at some point as well to talk Dorleys. Um, I basically want to build the audience up I want to kind of, we're getting there now. There's still 55 for you on now. It's been averaging sort of 60 to 65 through the stream. I would love to hit sort of 75 uh, to 100 on, and then we can start talking to the big brands, the big, big brands, uh, like your Dorleys, like your Appletons, um, like your Florida Carnias, like your plant plantations were willing to come on anyway, but not on a Sunday night live, which I kind of get, but, you know. Um, but yeah, we can we can start getting the big, big players on uh, when we start getting the numbers up higher. So really exciting times. I'm really looking forward to next Sunday. Uh, really looking forward. We've had some trial runs, trial runs with like the Craft Rum Club. And the Craft Rum Club, I absolutely love doing that and getting those, getting the guys on. But what's going to be even more fun from my point of view with the membership, my membership community is letting them or you guys, a lot of you guys that are still here, letting you guys taste the rum while um, the guys are on chatting about it. So that is definitely the big perk moving forward of my uh, membership community. Obviously, it isn't the perk because I can't be selling alcohol through YouTube or anything like that. We're not selling alcohol anyway. I'm just giving it away. But um, So that's not officially a perk, but that is where, when you come to the Discord, that's what it's all about, essentially. So... Uh, let me just catch up with these few comments. Uh, do, do, put them in Rumex score. Hang on, right, hang on a minute. Right. Uh, we just want an excuse to have another drink. That's where I got to. So David Bonner, what's this one? Uh, have another one, Steve. Thanks for the recommendation. Can you put them in Rumex score order? What, the rums? Um... Well, it's no real point putting me in, in order because they're different rums. Um, 
like there's no point comparing the three year old score to the Cuban barrel proof because they're completely different rumps, completely different uses. So, um, I could do, I could go in and find it, but it's just pretty pointless. Uh, did it just find price difference by score? Uh, oh, so great show, Steve. Thanks, Rossi B. Uh, did you try AB Gold? I didn't, Steve. If you're still here, where is my AB Gold? My AB Gold is. I've got. That's the other one coming out to play next week, isn't it? Sorry, Steve. Oh, the Goslings, Goslings Reserve, AB Gold. There we go. Let's try Steve O's AB AB Gold if he's still here. Oh, well, I've got my little tasting glass gone. There we go. Get rid of the water. AB Gold. I don't know what this is. I've got no knowledge of this. This is what. Um, uh, Havana Steve has sent me. Havana Steve sent me loads of little things up here. What's this? Oh, that's my plantation coconut. <laughs> uh, but yes, that's the other. I knew there was another rum coming out to play for Black Top Week uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Gosling's Reserve Rum. Again, I've not tried that. That's coming. I'm chasing that next week. Uh, two weeks' time, sorry. Right, AB Gold. What's AB Gold all about? Have we got any knowledge bombs about AB Gold on Rumex? Nearly spilt it. Nearly spilt it. I've just said goodbye to a lot of people. A lot of you have gone, but I'm here. I'm fine. Right, A, B, it won't find it now. You watch gold. I bet I've got to put full stops in between the A and the B. Let's A, full stop, B. Ah, oh, Heritage Golden Rum. One review, 80, scored, one review scored 87. Uh, I've, I've got no knowledge. I've got no bottle. <laughs> it's just a grayed out bottle. I might have to go on to... Safari, AB Gold. Right, hang on. Uh, come off, come off. Right, there we go. AB Gold. AB Gold Rum, seven year old. Is that the one? Seven year old. Heritage Golden Rum, 40% ABV. At a premium. Oh, is this the Yorkshire one? This is the Yorkshire rum. Uh, a premium smooth additive free rum blend. Sorry. A premium smooth additive free rum blend made with traditional pot steel, triple oak barrel, Jamaican rums, and Yorkshire spring water. Uh, created by two friends. The first batch is sold without within the fortnight. Wow, okay. Wow, well, yeah, bloody hell, you can tell us Jamaican rum straight away. With Yorkshire tea. Um, yeah, it's got that sort of subtle creaminess to it, but like subtle sort of Jamaican banana-y funk to it. Not a huge funk, but it's, it's there. You can't mistake it for Jamaican rum. Wow. That's quite interesting, isn't it? So basically what this is, reading between the lines, uh, some guys from Yorkshire have imported a few casks of Jamaican rum, maybe direct from Jamaica, maybe from e and here, at cask strength, whether that's 60%, whether that's 56%, whether that's 70%, whatever. They've imported it back at, uh, over at cart strength. And then they've cut it back. Uh, Ganimal, you're not here, Lee. Uh, but basically, they've cut it back with Yorkshire wood water. That's their marketing thing. So it's Jamaican rum cut back with Yorkshire water. That's quite pleasant. Really light. banana -y fruit. Not sure what else is going on in that. banana -y fruit. Really easy to drink. I think that's potentially a good daiquiri rum in there. Um, little 
bit of pineapple. Steve, I'm going to scroll down. I, I want to see what Steve's got. If Steve's still here, what sort of tasting notes he gets. Now, I'm going to scroll through the rest of these. Right, hide that. Uh, David Bonner, how do I join up? Uh, hopefully, uh, one of my guys has sorted you out. Um, basically, you click the join button, David. Under the, I'm sure someone's probably already told you. Uh, but you click the join button under any video or on my YouTube channel and then come into the Discord, um, shoot me a message to let me know that you've joined. I will then marry your YouTube name up with your Discord server name. Because believe it or not, some people call themselves different names. Uh, I struggle to work out who's who. Uh, and then I open up the rest of the, the members area of the Discord to you and then you can, you'll see all the taste alongs and all that. That's fine. So... Just bought a bottle of Stro. That's something I've never had. Stro, Stro 40, Stro 40 or Stro 80. Uh, enjoying it with some chocolate milk. <laughs> never had it. Never had it. Uh, I hear some funny things about it. I've never had it, so I can't comment. Uh, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, see, they're all on there. They're all on there. Da -da -da. Stays fluid. <laughs> you lot crack me up. <laughs> Bahama Mama. Right. Uh, YouTube membership, then it's literally postage for samples. A few quid bargain. Yes. See, I knew I knew my lot would be awesome. See you later, Redbeard. Sergeant who? Me, the customer. I love all these randoms. Right, uh, Tanner, been sipping Barbados Cross Keys with some Jamaican added. Nice. I've, I have heard of Cross Keys. Again, it's, it's something I'm pretty sure we don't get in the UK, uh, but I have heard of it. I think it's been mentioned on the Rumcast podcast a few times. Uh, Yorkshire Rum made next door to Equiano. <laughs> yes, Equiano is next door neighbour. <laughs> uh, right. That would be me who reviewed it on Rumex. Ah, okay, right, Rumex. Right, let's see, let's see what let's see what Steve's tasting notes are on Rumex. So, Stevo's tasting notes are Rumex, pineapple, tropical fruits, sugar cane, and vanilla. I'd agree with all of those. Pineapple, tropical fruits, sugar cane, and vanilla. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it on Rumex right now. Taste it. Color uh, is pale gold. Pale gold, right? Fruit. It's quite fruity. Two. Uh, we'll go three. Three out of five. Fruity. Floral. One. Spices. One out of five. Woody. One out of five. Roasted. One out of five. Rounded. It's going to be interesting to see how different our spider graphs are. Rounded, one out of five. Right. Taste. Uh, I'm going to tick all of yours. I'm going to... Honey. Oh. Fruity, vanilla, honey, and floral. How you've not put banana, I don't know, because there's huge amounts of banana on that. It's like eating uh, like a fresh banana. Um, honey, I like your honey. I'm going to stick with your honey, Steve-O. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to add in banana. Baba, banana, ba banana. There we go. I'm adding in banana. There is that sort of very slight Jamaican estery sort of stuff going on. Uh, can I put funk? Funky. I wouldn't call it funky. Uh, how can how can I verbalise slight esters? I'm going to put ester, but I mean slight esters in there. I'm sure I'm sure people will understand what I mean by that. Right, sweetness. It's kind of again. It's one of these. It's not a three out of five, but it's not a two out of five either. It's like a two and a half out of five. So I'm going to go two for this actually. Because I think three is going to be overkill. Fruit, definitely 
three out of five on taste. Floral, one. Spices, a little bit of vanilla on that. Uh, one out of five. Woody, one out of five. Roasted, one. Rounded, two out of five. Finish, me medium finish. Medium finish. Score. I don't know what he scored. I'm, oh, it's just sat on 72. Good. I went and then just let go. Uh, yeah, 72, good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on the border. Seven, there's loads of banana that comes out on that. I'm going to sit on 70. Good. I, I forget what you did. Um, I don't know what you did. I'm going to click save. Now, now I can see what you did. Wow. 87. Wow. I've just dramatically taken the average score down. <laughs> 87. It's not an 87, Steve-O. Steve-O, that's not an 87. If I put that as an 87, Geraint would throw all his toys out of his pram and, like, throw a massive hissy fit and we'd never see him again. That's decent. 87, what's 87? Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. It's, it's decent. There's loads of honey and banana that comes off that when it sort of dries out. It's very light. I would. I tell you what bracket I would put this in. Right. I would put this in the same sort of bracket as the Neptune rum. Right. All right. That's Jamaican rum. This is Barbados rum. It's a great example of a Barbados rum, but if you want a proper Barbados rum, like you go to your Dorleys and your Mount Gays and stuff like that, it's a cracking, sippable Barbados rum. But for me, you, if you want Barbados, you go there. So therefore, while this is good, it's not epically good, if you know what I mean. And I think that's the same for me. Uh, it's a lovely kind of example of a Jamaican rum, an accessible example of a Jamaican rum. But I'm going, comparatively wise, I'm going for something like the Rumbar Gold, the Worthy Park, and the Appleton 8 over that. Although that is a bit lighter. That That's kind of where I sit in that. So I hope you understand that. Right. Uh, hide. Doing that. Where in the world are you? Yorkshire tea. <laughs> Subscribed. Just great. Yeah, I, I agree with all that. Hope, hopefully my explanation is uh, kind of uh, helps you out. So I was just suddenly reading some of these comments that are coming in. Who the hell is this? Uh, that's not the comment I was going to put on. This is the comment I was putting. This this is the comment I, that kind of caught my eye. I was like, what the hell is that? Who are you? Newman, the complete tosser. <laughs> Hello, Newman. <laughs> okay. Interesting. This is what happens when you stay on for a long time. You get you start to get um, alternative people coming on. Uncle Ray. Yes. It's all about Uncle Ray, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going really silent. I'm just reading these comments. You would. <laughs> what? What is going on? What is going on in the world? Oh. <laughs> Hello from New Zealand. Our Antipodean friends are waking up all over the world now. Right, so next week, do join us. Uh, for the, <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. Do join us 
for the Lazy Dog Taste Along. And if you are a member, I will do some admin first thing in the morning. So if you, any of you have joined tonight, uh, I can see someone. Chris Bingo is joined tonight. Right, if anyone's joined tonight that wants to get involved, I will do the admin before I go to bed. I will add you to the, the members area of the Discord. Um, so if you want to get involved in the Taste Along, you can. And then I'm going to be sending out uh, the last few samples because I've got three or four to send uh, tomorrow. Uh, my last post is four o'clock. I will not have a chance after, well, essentially after Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm out. I've got first class stamps for any of you in the UK, so we'll get to you in time for post it on Tuesday easily. Uh, but I've just not got the time to do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so Tuesday is the absolute cutoff point and Tuesday morning because I'll have to post it by four o'clock Tuesday and I'll I'll be out shopping and all that in the morning as well. So uh, so that is that. Thank you very much. It's been a great, great show. I cannot wait for next week. Um, and I will see you, I'll just last couple of comments. Uh, I will see you through the week. Don't forget videos come drop in Tuesday from Plantation XO through to the Cane Rock in the 10 way daiquiri off. And then uh, I'm comparing the Dorleys, the three year olds, the 40% ABV and the 47% ABV. For you loyal people, I'm really sorry about the audio. Um, You've got two weeks of that. You've got Tuesday and Thursday, and then the following Tuesday and Thursday. It's semi-fixed, but not brilliant. Uh, but it will be back to normal the week after. So thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this, the better new look, more techy, easier to manage kind of show. I will see you next week. Take care. <laughs>